here. Hey, everybody. This is uh, Double A with your Just Another Friday Night podcast. Sorry, we are really late. It's 8 o'clock. It's Friday night. Um, it is raining. It's pouring out there. It's fucking crazy right now, okay? And if you're looking at the bottom of the screen right now, it says Double uh, A and question mark. Uh, CM Chuck might not even be here today. Uh, you know, it, everything's bad out there. Everything's really bad. It's raining like cats and dogs. Uh, so, uh, I got a really, really cool special guest and I kind of want people, more people to come in because I want everyone to see this really great guest I got lined up. It was really super hard to get this guy. He's super busy, but he made time just for us. Uh, he said he loves him. Chuck, he would do it for him in a heartbeat. So I can't really wait. I'm going to wait maybe about a minute and a half. See how many more people we can get in. Uh, we got a really good episode tonight. It's all going to be about uh, Marvel. That's all I'm going to leave it for you right now. Just Marvel Comics. Um, so wait a little bit more. Because uh, like I said, it's a really big surprise. Ah, Steve. Steve in the house. Cheers. I've already kind of finished mine, so I got to get a new one. How's your night going, Steve? I know you usually like being outside. Hanging out, but it's raining outside. Uh, hope you guys can hear that. First, well, second beer, first on the show. <clears throat> How's your Friday been, Steve? It's been good. What have you been listening to outside? Let's see what do we got. Good, good. All right, Steve. Nice. Sorry again, we're late. It's just it's uh, been a hassle, and I'm still waiting on my partner to come in, my special guest host. Just want a few of you to come in some more. Uh, my day at work kind of sucked balls, so I'm kind of glad to be here. Uh, I got some new comics on the wall, so let's see if anyone notices. <sighs> Let me see who else is here. Yelly's in the house. What's up, Yelly? How are you doing today? You still feeling the effect from last Saturday? Okay. All right. Uh, I just got the okay. My partner's here. Uh, again, he was, it's a big, giant surprise. I can't wait for all of you to see him. Uh, what's there more to say? Uh, he's all American. He's a true patri patriot. He is uh, all American. The the best kind of guy you can get. I'd like to introduce everyone to the new Captain America. Double A. It's an honor to be here. How oh, you doing, soldier? Honor is all mine. My Guys, pleasure. My we pleasure. got Captain America. How's it going, Americans? Appreciate you having me here. Here, wielding the shield. No questions asked. It's already done. It's here. All right, guys. I'm going to put it down. We want anything to happen to this. Obviously, a special, special uh, piece here of American history. Uh, let me put that down there for a moment. Sorry that I'm late. You know, it's been a lot of uh, busy times for me. Uh, is this how you guys do this here, podcasters? What, what is podcasting? I don't even really know what that is, but very cool. So uh, my pleasure to be here. Sir, thank you so much for being here. Uh, golly, guys, I can't believe I was able to snag Captain America to replace CM Chuck. But damn it, he came. He made time from his schedule. He's fucking here in person. Uh, you know, he wanted to keep this down low. You know, not too many people were supposed to know Captain America is here today. Double yeah. A, easy on the language. There might be kids watching. All right? you're, you're absolutely right, you sir. Know, my hero you're is Steve right. Rogers, and I and I model myself after that man, and and he's a great example. <sighs> Apologize, and sir. It's all right, totally all right. I understand. You you are a good American, and so uh, I understand that. Would you care for a a cerveza? I would not. When oh. I'm in uniform, I do not partake oh. in alcoholic beverages. I did, however, have my people bring in something special for me here. Uh, I know you guys like to drink beer on this show, so I got some of this here 
liquid death. Whoa. It's mountain water, but it looks like a beer. And it's from an actor named Joe Mangaliano or Mangaliano. Uh, okay. I know okay. he was in the Snyder Cut movie as a That's death right. stroke. And so, and I like him in that show called True Blood, but uh, <laughs> I said, you know what? I won't mind cracking nothing like a ice cold water to share here with you in the Just Another wow. Friday Night Podcast. Wow. Uh, Steve out there, wow. uh, Steve, a, a patriot. I've seen you on this show, sir. I appreciate you. Damn. Nice. Steve, you know, uh, you know, Captain America. That's awesome. Dang, that's cold, man. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yalitza, Yalitza, thank you for being here. We appreciate you as well. Steve uh, says, "Welcome, Cap." Oh, I thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. And and on Arlene, Arlene Garcia says, "Great model figure." Arlene, it's about time we've seen you on this show. I know you're a longtime fan, so it's greatly appreciated that you finally join in the show. Wonderful here, Mario Delgado, a good friend of the show, says, "Holy shit!" Uh, now I know this I guy. I know Mario. This, I this guy's been mailing me comic books. He wants me to sign. Uh, <laughs> hey, now, Mario. Now, I don't want to see these on eBay, all right? As a true American here, yeah, I need you to treat the public right, all right? You know, when John Walker makes a statement, comes down here, puts on the red, white, and blue, I got something to say, all right? And, and there's nothing I'd rather, no place I'd rather be than just another Friday yeah. night tonight. Yeah, because we are an all-American podcast. We love Captain America. You know, we love everything that he represents. Well, I love you guys. You guys remind me that you're like a small business. You know what I mean? You know, in, in my time, you know, before putting on this suit, you know what I mean? There's nothing I liked better than to hear other Americans talking about great things. So there, there's no place I'd rather be. Who else? What else is going on here? Cap, Cap we got Aaron B oh. saying he loves it. He loves that you're on our show tonight. Aaron B, Aaron another B. great patriot. I salute you, Aaron B. I know that you're a proud American and an American veteran of the United States Air Force. So this right here, this cap salute is for you. Nice. Appreciate Aaron, you can't you. get much better than that. Uh, Gabe Flores, what the actual fuck? I think he can't believe that we got hey, you on the show. Gabe Flores language, all right? When John Walker's announced, we, just like Steve Rogers, I don't pertain to that type of language. That's not my cup cap, of tea. Please excuse Gabe. I think, think he's super excited to see a legend Totally on understandable. The show. You know what? I did spend some time, uh, you know, out in the field amongst, you know, the commoners and know that that is some salty language out there. And there's nothing I'd rather have than some ice cold uh, sparkling water here with you, double A. So, um, Cap, John, uh, Joe Martinez, another one of our big fans, says, hey, John. Uh, but then he goes, cheers, Cap. It's Captain America, Joe. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Joe. I appreciate you uh, uh, being here, sir. It's my understanding that you are a proud owner now of a Just Another Friday Night podcast T-shirt. What a wonderful experience that must be for you. I mean, I can't imagine. I myself don't own one. Underneath the red, <laughs> white, and blue here, it's just nothing but muscles. Sweat and American elbow grease. Let me tell you, Man, all American stuff. All American stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. Double A. Tell me, tell me more about this podcast. What What's the subject tonight? What are What will you be discussing tonight? Guys, Cap, we are talking about Falcon and Winter Soldier, and who should be the real Captain America? <laughs> which we already got whoa, the guy. Oh, oh, back the Captain. Wait a minute. Oh, I see some people coming in here. Yeah, yeah. A Jerry Davila. Yeah, he says not. Nice. Uh, or is it Is it Gary? Gary. I don't know. Your name is starts with a G, but it's got two. <laughs> it's hard for me to understand. All I know is this: you got a name like John Walker. You know that that's the real and Captain America. He put, truth and justice. He put nice with an exclamation mark. He can't believe you're on the damn show either. Now, Mario Mario Delgado says America's ass. I guess he noticed your ass when he walked in. The new uh, America's right. ass, by the way, is the. the I, some might say I'm the new America's jackass. I don't really know what that means. Double A. What is that? Why do people call me that? I don't. I, I don't get it. I don't it. know. Maybe they're not patriots. You maybe. know, there was John Kennedy, who they also called Jack Kennedy. Maybe that's what they mean. Maybe I'm a maybe. jackass. Maybe. I get it. I get it. Understood. Maybe. Understood. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, Gabe wants you to throw uh, the shield at something, but I don't want you to. Uh, okay. <laughs> please, please. Uh, you're super strong. You're super mighty. You might make a whole. In a house that uh, right now it's raining, so That's we true. can't we can't afford to get Captain America uh, wet tonight. Gabe, let me tell you something. There's a lot of valuable comic books right here behind me, and I would hate for them to get wet and then get water damage. And you yeah. have to press these comic books. Yeah. I've heard about you. I heard about your scout, your skills, and your talents. And I myself would like to 
come to where your place of business and throw my shield around just for and, you. And Gabe, uh, man, you know, he's going to sign some of these comics for me. You know, so uh, you can't, he can't really damage you. So I, I need John here. Uh, Joe says, yes, my shirt is white. I'll wear red and blue. See, you're already inspiring patriotism in the show. Joe, awesome. As always, wonderful. wonderful. Uh, and Arlene says, I want, yeah, I want to know what pickup lines must I say to get a girl to uh, dinner with me? Okay. Um, you haven't. <laughs> well, Arlene, as you know, if you watch The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I am a married man. However, what pickup up lines did you use on her? Oh, uh, for me on her. Well, number one, I asked her, what were her favorite things about America? Oh, beautiful. Did she like the colors red, white, and blue? Beautiful. I mean, Beautiful. you know, uh, I told her, can she pose like Lady Liberty? Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, when we cosplay, it's pretty simple. You know what I mean? She dresses in the red, white, and blue. You know, me, I grab the torch of Lady Liberty, and it just goes from there. Sounds like a great woman. Great, great woman. Yeah, I'm a. I'm she amazed. She truly is. I'm amazed. She truly is. What can I say? Excuse me for not getting a shave in, you guys. You know, as you could see, as the Falcon of the Winter Soldier show guys, progressed. Guys, when when Cap's on a mission, he doesn't have time to take a day off and shave. He's doing missions. Okay, we. You know, the last thing he's thinking about is a damn razor on the. You know, on the job. You know, <laughs> maybe we'll get some sponsorship from this show from. Five dollar shave club yeah. or Harry's razors, and Dirt. then I'll shave. Maybe yeah, that. Maybe. How about manscape.com? Why don't you give the just another Friday night podcast a little bit we're, of that money? We're just lucky enough he got out of his busy schedule away from his amazing wife to be here right now yeah. to sit with you people and spread his patriotism. And we want a spoiler alert, guys, in case you haven't caught the Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney Plus. All six episodes are available now. Get out there and go watch it because. At the end of the show, they want to call me the U.S. agent. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, we know. Look, right here, it's right here. All right? This is, you know, th this, if Steve Rogers had known me, he would have given me this himself. He would have. You know what I mean? It just so happened that he was friends with Sam, and he was there at the I'm, moment. John, I'm sure that if he had met you and he saw your impressive resume, he would have been like, wow, Sam isn't nearly as great as you are you know? i mean doesn't it even look exactly like steve's shield i mean is there any question what you think i hammered this together myself in my uh some kind of underground workshop i have i'm a, some type of metal worker come on oh, come on, on. didn't have time for that guys who are we kidding here guys uh joe says where's our sidekick cap tall boy goes, water oh wait i'm his sidekick tonight joe no i am lamar tonight okay this is Battlestar. I'm going to call Battle you. Star. No more double A tonight. Battlestar <laughs> and Captain America are in the house. And no U.S. agent. Don't say that. Don't call me that. And I think Steve agrees with you that Manscaped should be supporting this. Thanks, Steve. And then Joe asks you a question for you, John. Cap, who wins? You or the Bat of Gotham? Who? I don't even know who that is. Number Does one, Gotham even exist? That, is that sounds a real like place? a made-up city. But it's me, not even a real place, guys. Me versus a baseball bat, well, it's not going to take too much. I get my axe out like I chop wood with every morning on a cold uh, winter day from my wife. Bare-chested, just like Steve Rogers did in some of those Avengers movies. Chop that wood up for her, and that's it. A baseball bat, same thing. A baseball bat is wood. I chop it up. That's it. End of story, all right? That's it, Joe. I don't, I don't understand your question. Plus, I'm jacked up on super soldier serum. You think me versus a normal guy is going to go any other way than me beating him down with these American fists? Come on. I'm Get just, yourself some water. It's I'm just, sparkling. I'm just glad he's a friend of the show and he's not uh, punishing us for injustices. So. I'm tweaking out. I'm tweaking out with these kind of questions. Yeah. So Aaron says, I bet ladies drop those panties for Captain America. Uh, well, Aaron, uh, again, if if this was Sam, sure, I'm sure they would do that. But Caps is a married, happily married man. And he probably would throw those panties right back at him. Say, put him back on. Guys like Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes, a couple of bachelors out there playing the field. Pouring around. They want to do whatever they want. You know, you respect the ladies, all right, guys? All right? Respect. Respect the uniform. You're an Avenger, all right? Does Red Ryan Blue run in your veins like this, man? Exactly. If not, maybe you should leave the country. Maybe you should do that. I mean, it is what it is. It's it's all right there. You see it, that? That stands for America. Battlestar here knows exactly what I'm talking about. The Bullet Club. We as Americans, we love bullets we and do, clubs. Yeah. So, I mean, there it is. Ooh, clubs. Uh, yeah. Steve here says, we need some ranch water. 
Well, that, that would be damn fine too, Steve. You, you're exactly right. We're having some liquid death here as it's murdering my thirst. And we're not getting any sponsorship from these guys. So, Joe Mangaliano. Actually, they should be lucky that you're doing this. Exactly. You're America's representative. You're from the DC comic book world. What's going on? Why am I hooking you up with free advertising? Yeah, he's here? lucky that you're here right now drinking his, his fucking ranch water. And he's lucky I'm thirsty as hell. Uh, Arlene says red, white, and sexy. Again, Arlene, I'm sure Cap appreciates that, but he is a happily married man. We Let's appreciate see. you, Arlene, as a proud American servant, the soldiers on the front lines. And I don't know where Steve is going with this, but he goes, I like where this is going, guys. Well, I appreciate Maybe that. Maybe he likes the patriotism that we're waving today. That's that right. We have the red, the blue, and the white and all showering the, us. All the, all the respect to all the men and women of the armed services, always. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got Mario coming in thinking, he says, I think wannabe cap needs to calm down. Oh, Steve Rogers will keep his cool. Wait, well, hold on. That's kind of comments. It's kind of comments I can't really stand for, Double A. This is exactly what was happening to me during the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you know, uh, series on Disney Plus. All six episodes now available now for you to go watch and stream. You know, people kept criticizing me and they kept calling me, you know, the fake Captain America. Yeah, I'm like, what and, the hell? They call me a jabroni and they call me baloney. What does that mean? Yeah. I'm I'm an American here. I'm sorry that you're regular, true-blooded. You didn't need steroids like Steve Rogers did to compete. That's right. You That's did right. it on your own. He was all juiced up. He was like Barry Bonds. He couldn't Mark have McGuire. done anything. Yeah, come on now. Steve I was I'm hitting home runs like the Babe, Babe Ruth and the New York Yankees. A, did you get a 4F like Steve Rogers did? No, I no. did not. No. I passed with flying colors. Flying red, white, and blue colors. Exactly. Mind you. Hey, Steve Rogers should be looking up to you. I, I mean, I didn't want to say it, but it needs to be said. Here it is. You know what I'm saying? I am Captain America. Where's my shield at? Get, get your shield. Uh, Arlene says he tweaking. Steve, <laughs> Steve says the enthusiasm. He loves it. He loves the enthusiasm, the American spirit that's waving in here right now. You know what, oh, Arlene? I might have something to do with this tall boy of water I'm sipping on right here. And, you know, there's something about it. You know, and I hear these comments. Uh, they sound a little un-American to me. They sound a little un-American to me. We, should... we might have to block some people tonight, uh, Cap. You've got Cap and you've got the President of the United States. And then the vice president of the United States. I mean, that's the pecking order pretty come much on, here. Where it goes. You know, I, I don't understand what the problem is here with the job I did as Captain America. A great job, mind you. And they want to call me U.S. agent. Wow. Do you see a U wow. here or, or a G-E-N-T over here or an S? It's just an A for America. Captain America. Come on. It's a problem here. Have you guys had any of this delicious water? It really, it <laughs> truly is water. It is really murdering my thirst this is not an ad for them i don't know why they're not giving this podcast money but they should be uh joe says steve rogers could do it all day joe that's because he was souped up on super serum uh soldier serum okay that's why he could do it all day joe let me tell you something john this. could do it all day on Seriously, his natural not, ability not only that i can do it all week joe oh, i can do it all damn. month i can do it 368 damn. days damn. a year damn. Because I'm including the leap year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Steve that's wouldn't exactly, do that. That's Steve exactly wouldn't do that for you. Yeah, exactly. Steve yeah. wants to go back in time and spend his life with Peggy. I mean, now who does that? That's irresponsible. Yeah, he just wants to leave everything behind and just go sit on his ass. We want you to yeah. be an American that's serving your country right now while you can jacked up on super soldiers. Mario says, I rest my case. I don't know what he means by that, Cap. Uh it's hurtful, Mario. Your 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 <laughs> words are very hurtful, sir. He's and never met you, Mario. Come I'll, on. He... I'll be returning these those comic books you sent me. Return to sender <laughs> all those U.S. agent issues and, and old Captain America comic books, <laughs> unsigned, sir. Uh, Arlene says Peggy knows damn well he goes hard. Okay, <laughs> hard for justice. Yeah, you do go hard for justice. Darn uh, right. Darn tooting. I darn do. tooting. He does. Steve says drink that water. Cheers, Steve. Thank you. Uh, we got local celebrity, uh, Nene in the house. Chuckles. I don't know who Chuckles is. Nene, if you hadn't seen, Chuckles who? is not here. 
We Nene. got Captain America, John Walker here. Nene, you know, I got a couple of words for you, sir. I've seen some of your videos. They're very provocative, and I don't particularly care for it, sir. Now, if you want to have a true American on one of your TikTok videos I've seen with your 500 million viewers, <laughs> uh, at funny Nene69, <laughs> you get John Walker, Captain America on there. Chuckles is dead. Captain America lives forever. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving this already. Uh, I love this. Uh, Joe says, I think you made Joe into a fan. He says, you're worthy of carrying the hammer. <laughs> Which, uh, you know, I don't even know if that was even the case to begin with. Was there any question? Yeah. You know what? The only thing that I wish for, Joe, that I had three hands. One so that I could carry Stormbreaker, one for oh. Mjolnir, and one for the shield that Steve Rogers would have handed to me personally had he had the opportunity to meet me and shake my hand. Damn. Awesome. Awesome. Joe, I can't believe you didn't think this guy was worthy before this. But um, if you're a fan of John Walker now, um, okay, All right, we're doing our stuff. Battlestar, you're doing a great show. This is one hell of a show. But you know what? I do feel as though this is not the best use of my time, and I got to get out there and serve up some more. You know justice. what, John? You you done enough for us. You you graced us with your presence here. I think you did turn a few heads. I think some people were thinking, huh? Maybe I'm not as American as I should be. So. Everyone, please thank John Walker for coming on here tonight, okay? You're welcome. Exactly. It's been my pleasure. You're welcome. Uh, Double A, are there any last comments here before I, I go? Okay. i got to get back to battling injustice, the flag smashers. Uh, yeah, so so Steve says, watch out on your way home. It is coming down hard at 37, so if you're going down that way, Cap, please uh, be careful, which I know you don't need to be careful. Not at all. You're, you're the best there is. Absolutely. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Though? I'm going to take this. She'll put it right up over the top of my head. Block all that ah, rain. No worries. Awesome. That's why I carry it. Uh, okay. Uh, Arlene has a question for you, Cap. Real right. question. Real question. Hear me out. Who do y'all think would win in a fight between you, John Walker, and Wolverine? The man, Logan, the man they call <laughs> the Wolverine. <laughs> that short, sawed-off runt? That guy's not American. He's from Canada. Oh, All I'm going to do is take just, a bottle of maple syrup upside right his there. head. Yeah, That's stop it. Right there. You know what they you know what they call bacon in Canada? Ham. Oh, geez. Come on. This is America, people. Jeez. Bacon is made out of pork belly. We all know that. Yeah, Arlene, I, I, you know, I'm, wow. I can't believe you actually asked that. Battlestar, there's a lot of work you've got to do on yeah, this show. Is. Getting these proud Americans there ready. Is. Uh, for the coming of the greatest Captain America <sighs> of all time. I'm sorry, John. Uh, I'll get better at this. I promise you. That's all right. That's uh, all right. Steve is with us. He says, get it, Cap. Get it. Will do, proud American. And uh, for some reason, our guy Joe, man, I don't know. He's uh, kind of turning red on us. Uh, he said, John got shorter. Well, you know, the camera uh, the camera yeah. takes off 10 inches. Joe. 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 Joe, is this your first rodeo? Come on, Joe. I, I don't know. I know that you're from Texas. I had to get a, a lower chair because if I got him a regular chair, he'd be over the camera. I, I mean, we're we're working with what we got here. Let's let's get it going. Seriously, if I got him a regular chair, you wouldn't even be able to see his head. That's how big this man is. Double, you know, that, that I think that's about it. I, I think I've handled all the questions I can right oh, now. Oh, my that. goodness. What? Are there, uh, are there Joe more? says Red Skull. He throws a Red Skull out for some reason. And then Mario says, fantastic job, John. You should join the WWE. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Mario? <laughs> Maybe when free America is truly free, I will find a place there amongst the WWE and great Americans like Vince McMahon. Uh, uh, great America. They're doing great work over there. They support patriotism. Totally. But besides that, I got to get going. There's things to be done. I've got to keep America safe and free with the true shield Guys, of Steve Rogers we got this, himself. We got this fucking Mexican border that he's protecting uh, from all these fucking immigrants that keep coming in. Sorry again for my language, John, but uh, thank you. It's been my pleasure, son. Take care. And all of you Friday Nighters and all the Friday Night Faithful, keep up the good work and keeping America proud and safe. Good night. All right, guys, that was Cap John Walker. Uh, he is going out. Luckily, my partner he just got home, uh, so he will be joining us very shortly. Uh, again, I can't. Oh, CN. Oh, man. Did I just. Did you. Yeah. Did you yes. see who just left yeah. here? Yeah. I just passed Captain America. Yeah. John was here. Oh, my here. gosh. Yeah. 
What a what a moment. We became such great friends. I can call him John now. I cannot I'm so sorry that I'm late, guys. I was a crazy day. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh the the fans were here. They supported us. What is going on in Uh, this? Oh my gosh, we're almost at the 30 minute mark of our first our first block here. Let me take over here. Uh, What is what is this? Uh Someone drinking yeah, water here? Some water. Uh, John yeah. was drinking that. You know, yeah. he he doesn't really deal, dabble in the beer. You got any, especially, cold, you got any cold beers? Yeah, I got some cold beers uh, for my partner, CM Chuck here. All right, let's here. get a cold beer. Uh, hey, look at all the people coming. Uh, Double A and John Walker. That's not right anymore. Let's see if we can get uh, any. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about uh, no, that. No, that's sorry. okay. Hey. I was, I was so excited. Look at I was you like, landing the big guest without me. Yeah. Man, yeah. luckily you came on time because you got to go kick some ass right now. So. Yeah, right now I wore my Captain America shirt because I know that tonight we're talking to all things the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, yes, and sir. you freaking get Captain yes, America sir. here, yeah. man! Yeah. Everyone was just blowing. I can't up. believe I missed it. Everybody was Gosh, blowing up. Yeah, awesome guys. Well, I I can't wait to read back through these comments and hear uh, everything that you guys were talking about. It sounds like it was amazing. It was very amazing. Did you love the show? What a great show, wasn't oh, it? Man, oh man, great show, gosh. great show. John was a true star of that show uh, you know i i'd be hard pressed to argue with you i'd be hard pressed to argue with you well, i probably will though because that's what i do and that's okay. what we do here i just on the okay. friday night but guys welcome as i usually say what's up friday nighters uh i didn't get to say that earlier thank you double a for getting me a cold brew here we're drinking the dose the dose equis lime and salt <laughs> thank you to all the uh uh, Mexican immigrants that helped make this beer happen i appreciate these open we love you, Mexicans. yeah totally man uh, cheers, cheers. You know, Steve, did I miss the Steve cheers? Thank you. Yeah, Steve. yeah, you did. Yeah, but he says, damn it, Chuck, you're so late. Oh, man. Dang, Mario's here. And Steve, oh, and yeah. Joe, well, hey, and guys. Look at, look at the great comment Mario left me and John. What's Fantastic that? job, fellas. Oh, man, wonderful. So Mario loved it. Wonderful. Well, that sounds really cool, man. I, yep. I'm, I'm, I'm beside myself that I missed it. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But, man, I'm excited to talk all things the Falcon and the Winter Soldier with you guys. Oh, we're getting, Steve says cheers. We're getting right up against that first break. Cheers, Steve. Uh. Double A adrenalized me. It sounds like you're super adrenalized already because you had fucking. I'm fucking pumped though. Man, the guy shoulder bumped me. He didn't give me a handshake or anything, but I told him. I asked CM. CM, he was super busy. He yeah. really had to go out and kick some ass. So I said, "Could I get a quick autograph here for my nephew?" And he slapped it out of my hand. It went up in the air, but it was okay. I it mean, was you know, fine. It, it was fine. Right. He, yeah, he really had to go. He, hey, you know what? I wanted to show. I got this. Uh, the 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 new Captain America Falcon the real Captain America Sam Wilson Sam, look at that yeah, great yeah go Captain America yeah maybe uh, this is what I showed him maybe that's why he didn't maybe sign maybe, maybe 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 <laughs> they're not exactly off to great starts so not too cool of him there but you know hey I mean teach their own right uh yeah. I thought he was called U S agent I don't know maybe. uh no no he's Captain America so yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yikes yeah. maybe that's what upset him when I was like hey U S agent what's oh going on? yeah you called him that oh okay Shit. okay. You know me, no social graces, foot in the mouth syndrome, guys. It's an ongoing Okay, guys, thing. we're already uh, coming to the end right now, so we're going to get back to you, and we're going to talk all things Falcon and Winter Soldier with my my host, the co-creator of this show, the man who was uh, able to help me get John here, CM Chuck. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take that quick break, uh, as we always do, and then uh, only for our audio listeners, but if you're joining us Facebook Live, like we do every we Friday night, anywhere. just for Friday night, we don't go anywhere, we talk more with you, we read your comments, we read your highs, hellos, how are you, and we say it right back to you, and we talk to you about what's been adrenalizing you this week in the world of pop culture, comic books, movies, TV, music, Sports, the draft just happened. Yeah, it did, is. did your team yep. get the picks they wanted? No, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, again, we'll be back in 30 seconds. Only if you're listening on audio, that's on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and anywhere that's a podcast platform, Audible, uh, iHeartRadio. Uh, but if you're here on Facebook Live with us, we're not going to go anywhere. We'll be right here, right when you get back in 30 seconds, guys. Here I am, CM Chuck's in the house now. I'm back. I'm bathed in the red of the red, white, and blue light. I want to do a special shout out, guys. Uh, today was a somber day. Uh, I appreciate yeah, you guys yeah. indulging me uh, and indulging us and having a, a, a special guest in the beginning. Uh, we did have a funeral today uh, for a special, 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 special. I can't say no special lady in my life. And uh, I'll be real honest with you guys. I did miss it. I missed the funeral. You're gonna but, say why? Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't for a bad. Here's reason. why, guys. I like double A. Am now 
fully vaxxed. They gave me this cool bracelet that says vaccinated. Uh, I talked to my dad, whose opinion was number one to me, and I said, uh, what do I do? Um, I'll go later. I'll get the shot again later, you know, whatever. And he said, you need to go do that and take care of your health. And once he gave me the okay, I went and did it. So I went and got my shot. Uh, and unfortunately, while I was in the line waiting, it took a little bit longer uh, than I had anticipated. Uh, I, I missed what was like a really quick service, apparently, and uh, was all said and done. But I did go afterwards and uh, had my moment alone and said my piece. And uh, I had a special request uh, from um, my Uncle Bill to uh, show this picture tonight. Uh, Double you can do a little bit more light yes. here. But the lady herself here, uh, Grandma, would like to say to all the Friday Nighters and just another Friday night, what a fun character she was. <laughs> and Grandma, we love you. And I know you're in heaven smiling down now on this show and on all of us. So thank you so much. Uh, Bill, I hope you can see that. And uh, being in her house today without her sucked. But um, I'm happy to be here with you guys. And I was looking forward to this moment. Uh, just come and spend time with you. Thank you, Double A, for the lighting there. So I uh, hope you guys uh, all uh, enjoyed that and enjoyed the uh, the earlier segment. So, um yeah, what's going on, Friday Nighters? What's going on in your world? What's going on in the world? pop culture? Uh, double A. Um, okay, so real quick, uh, Joe says, weird. John came on my house earlier. Uh, I hope you weren't acting like an ass like you were here. <laughs> uh, Gabe says, haven't seen the show yet, but I don't mind spoilers. Don't bother me, so spoil away. All right, Gabe. Thank you, Gabe. Mario says, there is only one Captain America. I agree with you. John Walker is great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what? I thought right. we were talking Steve Rogers. Uh, Mario. Well, he's not in the show. So we can't be talking about Steve Rogers. I mean, at the beginning, they kind of show his picture. You know what I mean? John, I hope you're not watching right now. Ugh. I thought that guy was called U.S. Agent. Mario, can you help me out here? I don't uh, know. Mario, if you have any back issues, you can hook me up with. Uh, those are going to be a little that. hard to find. Huh? <laughs> uh, Gabe, I do want to give you something. Uh, <laughs> I do know what season finale today, season one. Wow. Um Invincible was fucking incredible. Holy shit. And I'm going to announce this right here, right now, in this break, only for if you're watching us on YouTube, because not everybody gets this. We will be covering Invincible next week on this show. I All do right. not want to wait Damn. another week. I'm forcing Double A to binge. I told him, you won't have a hard time. You're going to get right through it because it's fan fucking tastic guys if you're not watching invincible on amazon prime start now so you can join the conversation with us next friday because we're going to be talking about that right here on this show great 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 show um any other uh comments there yeah, joe says he loves to pick uh he's repping uh our stuff tonight he's going to a show um uh, i That's think right. after his zero he yes. did say that he there was some truby band some system of a down there seven dust seven dust yes sir. great joe awesome uh, man mario said rest in peace to your grandma thank uh, you so she much she would have mario. wanted you to get that shot so and, and thank you for the what yes um thank you Mario. that's exactly what my dad said too and thank you for your wonderful comments uh also my yeah that was great Facebook. that was great yeah. really really uh touching words that didn't move me um and everyone else that commented as well thank you guys so much i appreciate and it and gabe says with three exclamation marks, it's a great show with an awesome story. And I'm telling this guy no, I now. Am. I yeah. Am. Oh, I yeah. Am. yeah. Um, it's, it's funny because, like, right now I'm kind of actually binging another uh, comic book show oh, really? on Netflix. It's old. I'm binging Lucifer. Oh, right cool. now. Okay. And I'm loving Lucifer right now. Uh, Neil Gaiman creation. Uh, so uh, I'm always a big Neil Gaiman fan. So that's awesome. So mm -hmm. is that you? That might be you. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's alert. <laughs> severe oh, weather severe alert. Weather alert. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. If we lose power Sorry. or something like that, guys, uh, it's but, yeah, so, storming uh, outside. I'm lit, you know, and it's funny because, like, the show's kind of old. So I was, like, trying to look. Like, I have trade paperbacks of Sandman. Uh, and like the single, the first issue of Sandman, but I was like, I wonder how much the Lucifer issue is because he comes out in issue four. Okay, and it's like uh, it's already like over a hundred people. Oh, oh, for oh that's not too too. Bad. It's not bad, but it's kind of like damn, you know, that's like another character that you just never thought would shoot over that much, you know. <laughs> um, so I was like, fuck. So. If you would have told me before that show that there was even a lucifer character in the dc and mm -hmm. i've been like what the fuck i know uh <laughs> my wife was laughing because she was like wait wait you're telling me dc owns lucifer <laughs> I, I was like i hadn't thought about that but, tm on the devil uh, but what's cool i guess is you can say this creation of lucifer is created by the great talents of neil gaiman and sam keith the creator oh, of the max right so right they're on. the ones who created this lucifer 
Um, he was supposed to, like Constantine, was supposed to look like Sting. This Lucifer was modeled after David Bowie. So wow, okay. Yeah, so Neil very, Gaiman yeah. like has like a thing for all that kind of stuff. So, uh, and then real quick, this past Sunday, I went to Traders with a uh, Friday night member member of Roxanne, and we met Dark Maul, Ray Park, um, and was, Snake Eyes, and Snake Eyes. But I mean, most people. Would, it's Dark Maul. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> he's one of those characters. And um, Toad. If you saw any of the comments, it was it was long. Uh, it took a really long time. Me and Roxanne got there like around 1050, and we didn't leave Traders until like about 345. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And we didn't leave. I mean, that was all just waiting in line. We didn't like walk around. We right. didn't do nothing. We, right. we just stayed there in line. So it was brutal, but... Here is my picture. Oh, that's huge. It's bigger yeah. than I thought in the picture that yeah. you sent me. It goes to Adam. The force is uh the force is strong in you. The force is strong you in know, you. And How it's a picture of him kicking Obi-Wan during their climatic fight. Like that's yeah. a testament to me how much people love that scene. Right. That they were like, you should get that and scene. It popped to me. I was like, wow, I need that one. I, I saw some of Fred Nighter Foxy Roxy stuff, which was very cool. But when he's when double A sent me this, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. I was like, great pick. He had that. Like, I thought you printed this. And no, I was like, no, man. No. no. I mean, like, this is like a still image yeah. of that great moment where he kicks the shit out of Obi-Wan. <laughs> yes. And you're like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You know so mean? it was awesome. Roxanne was like super ecstatic. She flipped out. Yeah. Was, she was in heaven. You know, she I, was I'm just sad in... I missed it, but you made me party too hard on Saturday. So <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you to that and your yeah. wife. So, yeah. yeah. So, party too hard on Saturday. So, now we did. We, we really party hard. I was not in the state of mind to attend on Saturday, but I would love <laughs> no. to have gotten a picture because I already have an autograph, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. Not as cool as that because Dan might have been tempted to buy that. Bitch. Uh, so that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know what's cool? I know we joke and say he's Darth Maul, but, you know, he was also Snake Eyes and mm -hmm. he's also Toad. And it's like, it's not like he's like two other people. He's in our world. Like he's yeah. in he's in three properties in our world. Yeah. You know yeah. the X Men. Well, you know, like that. I said, like I told you, the first thing I took to for him to sign all those years ago was this snake and snake eyes straight paperback story that he wrote. Yeah, you know. So is that a forty shoot run or what? Yeah, I it? think it was so. the one you loaned me with the starts with the no no. It's okay. like okay. it's like the the symbol the uh -huh. arm symbol yeah the the client symbol and then him like like that like snake eyes go like oh cool like going down. I mean, that's neat too, right? Because to him, that's got to be special because it's like, oh, you brought yeah, a book was. I wrote. Yeah. He was like, versus... wow. He was like, thank you. You know, so I remember, yeah. you know, he told me that. That's the first his time. input. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. like, you know, that, I think that's really lovely. So that's really, really cool. But I was like, God, leap. But then when I saw him in solo again, I was like, fuck. You know, I was like, I, I really should have got something Darth Maul. So. And that's what makes me hate that fucking quote unquote toxic fandom bullshit is that, like, you know, we could have probably had that solo sequel we already. If yeah. not, you know what I mean? Like, we all love Star Wars. So, you know, to me, let that content keep rolling on out, man. Like, that shit's badass. Like, yeah. the more there is out there, then yeah. the more it is for us to analyze, break down, and enjoy, you know. Yep. Uh, by the way, Gabe, I met some wonderful people today, actually, at my, what do you call it, double A, when, like, there's a there's a wake, which is the before, yeah. then there's a funeral. And then what is it when you kind of gather after? Do you call it a reception? Do you call it I think a... I've heard some people saying a reception. Maybe. Okay. Well, anyway, at, at that for my grandmother today, I met some wonderful people through my uh, my Uncle Bill, a uh, fan of the show, who sometimes gets to come in. He's probably, he's probably busy right now. Uh, but anyway, uh, wonderful folks. And uh, his partner was telling me about – it was really fun because they were a couple of AA and they were both – she was a DC and he was a Marvel ah, and they, okay. they ended up marrying. They, okay. and, and it's really neat. They even named their son after a very, very popular, um, uh, x-men characters all i'll say without oh, using, wow. without knowing them and i got them i told them oh please check us out if you get a chance but anyway um what they were saying was that they're he was the 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 gentleman was saying that his uh, dad collects vintage comic books and has a collection <laughs> very very uh prominent he was naming some things and i was kind of like oh he has that <laughs> i was like okay <laughs> Uh, and he was like, yeah, we really want to look into grading and all that. And I would, yeah. and I let them know, yeah. before you grade, consider pressing. I said, I know it sounds weird, but believe me, we learned a lot. So, Gabe, I would be more than happy to send some business your way um, if you promise to take care of, good care of these people for us. And, and they're good people. And this uh, gentleman is also a uh, military veteran, so that means a lot to us here on Just Another Friday Night. Um but awesome, awesome stuff. So you're watching Lucifer. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna yeah. interrupt you for a week with Invincible, mm -hmm. but believe me, it will be the happiest. You could yeah. probably watch it before 
your wife gets home from work mm-hmm. and like in, which and, i probably will. and like and like in the week and you'll be yeah. like <laughs> and you're going to be like, thank you for letting me watch that. Fucking <laughs> excellent. Uh, but um, yeah, but tonight, see him tonight, 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 tonight. We tonight, are talking tonight. about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, man. So let's let's uh, without further ado, man, because we know it's just getting later on, and we started late because you're over here landing these superstar guests, and I'm just like, what the hell? You know what I mean? I I missed it. I'm late. But oh, John must be at Joe's house because he's saying he thinks he stole his helm the silk chair. Oh what? Uh, but uh, John doesn't do that, Joe. That, that's, I mean, you're. I don't know. That doesn't sound like. Him Come on, Joe. I, I think mean, you're trying to bash him. Yeah, I mean, maybe U.S. agent would do something like that. I, mean, I know. Yeah, uh, yeah, Joe, exactly. where's the kiddos at tonight, man? No, no. Oh well. Oh no. Rained out. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Duh. What a dumbass. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't play a lot of sports in school. I was in the newspaper, so man, that's what I did. But guys. Uh, I want you all to tell us what did you think of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? What were the highlights, the lowlights? I loved the memes. You guys know I love memes. I love the memes that came out of this. It was so funny. Um, I My fangs were sunk in this show. I loved it, and I cannot wait to talk about it, too. So please comment, 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 comment. During this next 30-minute block, we're going to be talking all about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Six really tight episodes. It pretty much was a movie. It was yeah. it was the Falcon and the Winter yeah. Soldier movie on Disney Plus. Yeah, it was a three hour movie. I know people like to say for free. It's not free because you paid for Disney Plus, but you know, I mean it it it's you it you already paid, so you got it. You know what I mean? So what a treat. Thank you, Marvel. Uh let's get into it, yeah, guys. Let's get into coming this. in and let's yeah. let's keep it going. Let me get the yeah. audio version. Keep going. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, as you know, every Friday night, we go live on Facebook. We hit record one time. Uh, if you saw our YouTube video from last week's episode, it was shit because we used a different computer. We <laughs> bought a new cord with the funds we have yes. from selling shirts. Mm-hmm. Thank you, all of you guys. We have very few left. We're very limited on our $20 tees, but there are a few left. If you want one, reach out to me. They're mainly white. Um and I think we only have but like they pop though medium, large, and what's cool about the white one is that the logo on yeah, it is it red. Pops. Yeah, so. the, the white shirt has the red logo. Uh, and all you're the rest a fan of, of Roddy Piper. Hey, Roddy Piper liked to wear white. With it looks red. good with anything. In mm-hmm. fact, I think it's the one I sold the most of, but we also got the most of those. So nice. Uh, we have some other cool stuff going to be coming soon. If if these shirts, if we sell them all and they did well, I'll, we'll check and what we made out of them. And we're going to buy more shirts if that's what you want. But because we had our technical issues last week, we needed that money. We were able, because of you guys, thank you so much, to buy a new cord for the laptop that we normally use without the lagginess. We know last week we were all like moving, like, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm talking Mm -hmm. and it was all choppy. Yeah. You look like the little Kung Fu movie. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, totally. And I saw it on YouTube and I was like, yikes. It was like, you know, uh, the great Jerry D of, um, totally rad podcast had an issue with us when we were on his show he was able to fix it and line the audio up. I don't have those skills. So I did not do that. It just looks like shit on YouTube and I'm sorry. So, uh, but, Audio, if you heard the audio version, it still sounds great. Um, and if you want to watch us move like choppy robots, you can go check it out on YouTube. Um, but um, our Martin Scorsese episode continues to gain traction and do really yeah, well, man. as does our Snyder Cut yeah. episode. Our Snyder Cut episode, I believe, is it's one over view away. Oh, it's already no, over. It's over oh, wow. Okay. All right. We did something, and right? Scorsese is like two something so or three something. I mean, for us guys, that's huge because most of our videos yeah. do about, you know, 10, 15 views. Yeah. For some reason, you they'll know. just pop. And I noticed that our subscribers has gone up a little bit. Yeah, we're we're almost at 50, guys. Get your friends, family, coworkers to subscribe to our that's YouTube channel. That's all they have to do. Just subscribe. Just subscribe. They don't have just to subscribe. hit the bell. They don't have to hit nothing. They don't have to get notified. They don't even got to watch. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, we want you to watch. We I hope you'll enjoy we it. We want but, them to you know. subscribe so we can give you, the listeners, better stuff. And we want to change our name on YouTube to yeah. youtube.com slash maybe this down here. Just another Friday Night Podcast. Guys, we're or, we're against the ropes. We fight from the corner. That's the way we're doing it. Yep. So, totally. But we need your help every now and then after the three minutes of uh, has ended. <laughs> yeah, totally, guys. It's, no one can say it better than this man right here. Did I hear him calling? <laughs> I thought I heard you being called Battlestar. I don't know why. Why would anybody sorry. call you that? That's not cool. This is double A. Come on, guys. What do you think? What show are you watching here? Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is the topic of the night, but we want to talk about what we're going to call this show, and that is Truth 
made in America. Because, baby, if you read this series, and you let me borrow this yeah. a while back, yeah. and I you read it. You weren't really too impressed. I think the art threw you off. The art truly hurt me in my soul. I was like, man. But you know what? I really did feel as though there were there, – it was a really great idea. Mm -hmm. It was a really great concept. It's a story that should have been told. Number one, this show did a vastly better job. Sam, I never thought – the character would ever get introduced anywhere. I didn't think there was any room for that kind of stuff. And wow, I again, I am glad there is Disney Plus. I'm glad Kevin Feige is deciding to do shows with these characters where we can see these characters come alive. I popped my pants. Yeah. <laughs> when I when I heard yeah. Isaiah Bradley, I was like, wow. Yeah, that was you know, super because neat. you can't really see the, the with the glare, but let me see if that. Yeah, works. you can try to move that light a little bit that way. Let me see. I mean, these are them. You can see the stripes. If you see, but issue one of Truth has become like a classic image mm -hmm. of you know him with the star, you know, with the side. Yeah, and and and, and the and the features are pronounced uh, to kind of show that it, it's an African American uh, soldier. And it's funny too because just like how John Walker made his appearance on the show when this comic came out, there was a lot of hate that mm -hmm. came with it. Okay. That's right. That's right. Anytime for some reason when you're trying to replace Captain America, yeah, a lot of hate comes. A lot of it. And that was this one too. Okay. So now double A, correct me if I'm wrong and I might be wrong, but I think that what people thought was was that they were going to that they were gonna say that he was Captain first. America before Captain America. Right, right, right. And it just everyone blew it out of proportion. This was even way before like Twitter and all that shit yeah. came on. It was yeah, just it was. so much hate, so much fucking racism that came out of it. Yeah. If you had just read the story, you just saw that in this story they're trying to recreate the super soldier serum. Right. Remember, it died when you know. Ernstein or whatever his name yeah. died. Er 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 Erstein, yeah. Yeah, so that's all it was. And unfortunately, just like the you hear sometimes about the Tuskegee Airmen, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they a whole bunch of the African Americans got experimented on trying to replicate the super soldier serum, and it ended pretty horrifically for all involved except for Isaiah Bradley. But even then, his story in truth doesn't end like on a big note. It's pretty it's a pretty sad story, yeah. and uh it was a cool story. I read it. I loved it. It's just, it's only seven issues. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure now it's going to be really hard to find. Oh, I'll bet. Out it. Yeah. Probably you know? even in trade, I would imagine. But uh, I was I loved the story, and I like freaked out when when they mentioned Isaiah Bradley on the show. I was like, wow. Yeah. You know, and that he kept coming out on the show. I was even like, cool. I love it. You know, I love it a yeah. lot. I know very little about the writer. Uh, his name sounds Hispanic, um, and it doesn't matter who it came from. Yeah. But but um, I felt like it was a great concept. Like if I told you like the idea from the, mm -hmm. I got an idea for a movie day, yeah. and it, yeah. it's like this. But I don't really, I don't know how to move the story along. It would have benefited maybe from some ghostwriting, a couple of other people uh, jumping in. Like maybe if he would have told this idea to. It's almost like what we say about George Lucas all the time, right? Like the yes. man, great had, ideas, great ideas, great stuff, but can't write works for shit. But you need someone, yeah. You need someone to put mm -hmm. the meat on the bones. Yeah. Like, great skeleton you gave me. Yes, now, he is. Now yeah. let me yeah. bulk it up. Okay, so I mean, man, I can only imagine what this story would have benefited from these Marvel writers or like a Jeff Loeb or. A, a, you but know, see, we're we're like in that. a different time though. See, sure. I mean, before comic, I mean, you know, before even the movies, really. I mean. You had some movies that popped out, but it wasn't like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right. okay? And so, right. I mean, it wasn't really – these comics weren't dictated by the movies like the way they are now. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, I mean, it was a different time. This, this was still kind of like nerd territory. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you and didn't the, have people just coming in the store and wanting, the, wanting you know, the, the Chris, Chris Hemsworth Thor. Right. You know? <laughs> right. And now I think the art, too, it might be like a little the bit art. of a yeah. – a, it, it might be a little bit of a play – on how some of the they old could have been. that old yes. uh timey yeah. art was done yeah. um that where they kind of you know portrayed african americans a certain way and and it was like i think it was meant to maybe be a play on that because 
I'm sure the artist is talented and could have made it look however he wanted. But I'm pretty sure they wanted this style. Right. Where it almost felt like you were looking at one of these old newspapers with the way that, you know, things were drawn back then. So, But but to me, that made the story suffer a little bit. And it, I couldn't get as much into it because art does play a big part in comic It does. It it's really 50 does. 50 in it my really opinion. does. No, it, it yeah. really is. Like, there could be great art, but it's a terrible story. Mm -hmm. And that really throws me off. You, you know how I love stories. Uh, mm -hmm. But if the story sucks, I just... I can't get into it. Yeah, we've talked about the image world, you know. With <laughs> yeah, I was like their main MO for a long time. Yeah, Great yeah. art, but horrible stories. I mean, uh, you know, J. Scott Campbell is amazing, whatever, but it's like, I just never really got into <laughs> <those> stories. <laughs> but, but we are not just talking about truth. So we get into episode no, one. No, it's no, about no. a few months after Endgame. Yes. Sam is still really iffy about taking up the mantle he doesn't feel like he's worthy enough yeah we got bucky who's still going through his psychological right. issues bad right bad. he's seen the therapist he's still haunted by his time of being the winter soldier mm -hmm. being an assassin uh for hydra an yeah. american nazi group pretty much that had infiltrated america okay i mean it, it's so he's still going through his process sam is still like really like Mm -hmm. Am I worthy like Steve is? Steve sure. set such a high bar. Sure. He fought next to the man against Thanos, against Loki. You know, I mean, he was there all the time. He he knew what Steve believed in. He knew what he fought for. You know, I mean, does he feel like he matches up? Does he feel like he should be there? Uh, right. Rhodey, you know. Uh, man, that was so cool yeah. to me. I dug yeah. that a lot. I was like, oh, neat. Like, it feels so good. I loved the Netflix shows. They were really cool mm -hmm. because it was kind of showing like, hey, this is the world of Marvel and the Marvel universe, but this is this this is like Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the Punisher and Daredevil might not be involved in that. It's big, a part you know? of New York that Spider-Man doesn't really touch. The right. Fantastic Four really doesn't waste time with, you know. <laughs> right. That kind of part that none of the big superheroes really, they're like, um, Daredevil's there. Yeah. Let Daredevil handle you it. You can kind you of know? tell that story that way. And it's still very good. And it still looked good. And it had great action. And it had great writing. The Punisher and the Daredevil, especially out of those out of Netflix the shows. But what's really cool about these Disney Plus shows is that, like, wow, we're ripping characters they're, right from yeah, the movie. I mean, they're just bigger budget. You can feel sure. like they're just bigger shows, you know, so much more bigger than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. than Daredevil, than Punisher, so much bigger than, you know, the DC universe uh shows you know and what a great scene too of sam right of doing his mission you know with bat rock oh and, my gosh man how, doesn't that play to me that opening yeah. sequence plays God, like a please. like a bond opening yes it does i was like home oh, i'm like at the edge of my freaking seat yeah. like this is freaking good like i was like damn sam like yeah get so, it, dude so this sam is completely different from the first time we see him like in winter soldier mm. here he's already battle hardened Right. You know, he's learned from the best. He's been around the best. So to see him kind of going on that mission, you don't even feel scared for Sam anymore. You feel like, wow, you know, now Sam can kick some ass now yeah. the way he should, you know, yeah. and it was pretty cool to see. And it, it was cool to see George St. Pierre, yeah, too. George St. Pierre, back, 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 back from rock. the Winter Soldier, from yeah. the Captain America the Winter Soldier Yeah, movie. so yeah. that was pretty fucking cool to see him, too, you know, so it was awesome. But great opening sequence, the introduction of Torres. Uh, yeah, I always like the Latino Torres. character. Yeah, I like them, too. Cool I like them, too. There was a moment later on in the show where I felt like, oh, no, are they going to turn I, Torres? You know, you know, when you told me that, too, I was kind of like, oh, shit. I'm glad I was wrong. I'm glad you I'm were glad wrong, I'm glad they too. didn't play out because yeah. I like, and I, again, I like a Latino character. And it's yeah. even neat when Sam's working on... Uh, on uh, Red Wing, Red Wing, mm -hmm. you know, he's like maybe if you and he's like yeah, I got no, it, no. but it's like it shows that he's a, a a knowledgeable and and a good a good guy. He was the one that was up on the flag smashers. Yeah, so that was very yeah. very neat. He was kind of educating Sam on that. Yeah, so the you know we kind of get introduced to this group right in the first episode. It's called the Flag Smashers, mm -hmm. and they're kind of like so when the blip happened when when Bruce brought everyone back, you know, after it settled, government started coming back. They started setting the borders again. Uh, the world was united after the bl after the blip happened. Everybody was good. Everyone was helping each other. The world was fucking united. Right. There was no more governments fighting. There was no more. This belongs to us right here. You know, this section is ours. This section is ours. You know, it was none of that. It was everyone was helping each other. But now, when everyone back, the government's back, saying 
you know what? These people that disappeared should get to be back where they were, and they're kicking this right. group out, the survivors. Right. You know, and it's kind of like, wow, it gave us a lot to think about, too. It was like yeah. something that they hadn't really shown. It was a big feel-good moment in Endgame when they brought everyone back. But then when it was kind of the like... real-world percussion. But then, that. yeah, when you start coming in, they're like, okay, you guys aren't survivors anymore. They're calling you refugees yeah. and they're placing you in camps. Yeah. So all these people can go back home. It's kind of like, golly, you know, we were here for five years. We were trying to pick up you know the earth why you yeah. why we thought all of you are dead now that you're back you want to kick us out you want to kick us to the curve like we're pieces yeah. of shit you know I what mean, did me and you talk about and we talked about it probably on this show i believe but it's like you know let's say that you're three years into the blip the blip was five years you're three years in you you decide to move you know not decide but you've you've mourned you've moved yeah. on you start a new relationship maybe a new family that's it that's the thing and then too. your yeah. old family comes back and you're like, oh, what shit. kind of a mind fuck, psychological fuck is that? And, or, 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 or for no apparent reason, you were the CEO of a company and you lost your job because yeah. you vanished, and yeah. then someone else is in place. I mean, that's essentially what happened in in WandaVision yeah. with with the with Sword and um, uh, our girl, um, damn it. Monica. Monica. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I just got to deal with you're in charge now, like because yeah. I blipped away. It's yeah. like, that's not my fucking fault. You know what I mean? Like, I want my fucking job back. Yeah. You know? But it's uh, showing us these situations where we're, we weren't even thinking about, you know? Right. We're just like, oh, Which is fuck. very cool because it so, adds real world repercussions to what happens. So what happens when you push people out? Obviously, they're going to feel like, oh, now you're back again. You well, know? they're going to do it. You just said it. You push them. They're gonna push back. They're gonna push back, mm -hmm. and that's what happens with a few of these flag smashers. Somehow, some guy was able to replicate the super soldier serum, mm -hmm. and there's like about seven super soldiers out there running loose, causing chaos. Yeah. Uh, known as the flag smashers, their know? leader is Carly. Carly, yes, mm -hmm. and we get a first taste of it when they're battling, and they beat the shit out of them real easy. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, and and let's backtrack a little bit because there's some really savory moments to me in that first mm -hmm, episode, mm -hmm. which is called New World Order, which is neat for us. Right? As wrestling fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but man, number one, it plays so well as the opening of a movie. It's like it a really movie does <laughs> with the I love the tight above shot of Bucky, like from the left yeah. and his eye. I did too. I love those shots too. It reminded me of some. I was trying to think what director does that where it's kind of like showing them um, like. You know his this yeah. crazed look. You know, and I love him and the psychiatrist. And she's asking him, and she's asking questions, and he's like, "No, no more dreams." No, yeah. she's like, "We've been at this long enough. I know when you're lying." Mm -hmm. And then he's like, "Are you supposed to be telling me this?" And she's like, "You know what? I'm a psychiatrist, but I'm all, I was also a soldier, which is neat that he's almost like maybe like at some type of VA hospital or so, which yeah. plays into yeah. like that he mm -hmm. was a soldier. You know what I mean? Like that's really cool about about Bucky is that." Let's not forget that he did serve in the military. He's supposed to have served World War II, and then you know, obviously being trained by agents of Hydra to yeah. be this, you know, assassin. And you know? and he gives he gives you good time frame too when he says, "I didn't have a moment of peace. I went from no. one war to yeah. the other. I had a moment of peace in Wakanda, and that was it. And then I went back. And let's not forget for us of us that are kind of outside the world of of it, not just watching within. I believe that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was supposed to be the first released. Thing. I think or it what, was. Or maybe no, it was no, no. Black Widow, then this. Yeah, then Black Falcon Widow was supposed to be then, way then before this. Yeah. But it all got misjumbled. Yeah, and, and then WandaVision was supposed to lead Strange yeah. to Doctor Strange. And I've heard there were a lot of redubs on the audio, re-recordings of okay. people's because, okay. because things weren't making sense. And I heard that there was even some type of... Um, storyline within the show that had to deal with some type of virus or something like that but people felt like it was Ooh, too close to the wow. pandemic and it was very touchy and so that there are scenes and i only know this because i've watched like other videos now that i've seen it and they kind of show they're like look notice how they cut away and you hear voiceover wow. and i was okay. like oh okay. okay so so maybe it would have been a little bit tight tighter uh okay. you know I, I didn't feel like there was like plot holes but maybe it would have been a little bit tighter or concise if not those issues to me I don't know why people want to run away from like when a real world thing happens. I'm like, that actually makes it more like insane. Because, right, you, know you know, I mean? sometimes, you know, Kevin Feige's smart. He's probably like, hey, look, it's already enough real world shit That's out true. there, shit That's movies true. that you can go yeah. see. And you know what? We're at the Marvel Universe are supposed to be making this fun. You right. Know? It's supposed to be an right. escape, which they have been. 
Yeah. Luckily, Marvel and Disney have been around to give us Star Wars and Marvel material. So. Yeah. And you're making a great point because I'm not thinking about it from the perspective of, and I should now, being that I am kind of in one of those yeah. people. Yes, when you, you lose yeah. people or persons due to that, maybe watching something like that is kind of a trigger yeah. or whatever. Yeah. You know? So uh, interesting. It maybe changed it. But either way, I still think it was a very, very mm -hmm. flawless mm -hmm. almost show. No down moments, but uh, like I said, it just fleshed out those characters that you probably wouldn't have thought about. Like Bucky, Sam, they're not really big members of like the Avengers. Mm -hmm. They're you know in the movies they're not going to focus on those two characters. You know what I mean? Uh, so it was kind of really cool to really dig deep into Sam's psyche and Bucky's psyche. Yeah, you know, and man, those two make a great pairing. They did, they and I thought really their, their good pairing. on screen chemistry was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, the only thing I didn't know is like, where was all this hate coming from? Because it looked like, you know, they would have been like three, like really three tight friends, you know, Steve, uh, Sam, and Bucky. It always seemed yeah. like they were hanging out together. Well, we kind of see a little bit in Civil War. Is is it so, yeah, Civil War with Sam and him? Yeah, but see, like, that's kind of like the first time. But then when you see like uh, Infinity War and then Endgame, I mean, they're all like fighting close to each other. You know, yeah, and so, they were both team caps. So that's what I'm like, saying. You know. I was kind of like, wow, it's kind of weird that they're like at odds this much. <laughs> but then, but then the psychiatrist did say that like, she was ignoring a lot of what uh, Sam's, Sam's text, text and calls, yeah. so, so, which shows that Sam was trying to. He reach was out, trying to reach out to you her. know, and it's th those all those things built. They they do a great job of painting that really great picture yeah. of where Bucky's mental state is at when which, she's like, we only man, have twelve it's, numbers. It's in kind here. of surprising that and it's kind of like it. really that fucked up still. Yeah, you know, after everything he's been through. Well, what like, about that great sequence we get to see where he's yeah the full Winter that's, Soldier? That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't believe he's still kind of going through all that stuff. Yeah. You know, it's kind of, kind of like damn. Well, it just goes yeah. to show, double A, right? So you can clean up the you can clean up the uh, the the maybe the Hydra training or whatever, but you can't clean up yeah. like, the kind of mental the scarring stuff that's you know really mean, deep right? in there. The dreams you know? and yeah, things like that. Yeah. So. Man, like we're barely through the first episode, but there and there's so much, and we're probably not, we're not gonna talk about it in no, order. No, no, we're, we're not gonna, gonna talk about go it. Around. We're just yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go around it over like the things that we really loved, and there is a lot. Like I said, love. like the characters of Sam, they really develop him so well, and Anthony Mackie does such a great job. Yeah, you know, and uh, James Barnes too. You know, Bucky, Seba you know, uh, Sebastian, Sebastian Stan. Stan, Stan you know, great. he does great stuff. He's really fleshes out bucky more yeah you know i mean the great scenes in louisiana you know oh, i love stuff, that you know, i love that yeah uh, that was really <clears throat> great you know uh, we wyatt russell i liked him i i thought he killed it you know he, he did he did kill it because here's the thing is that you people hated him he comes out for like a second at the end of the first episode yeah. and we get well what happens guys you know double a we get we see that we see that uh, Sam turns in the shield at the Smithsonian. They put it in the so, museum. Yeah, so he decides finally once and for all, no, he's not worthy enough to carry the shield. And, and he someone thinks, else is. And he thinks he's going to retire, that this would what Steve want. He's just going to retire it. Boom. And it's just going to sit in some museum, you know, and, and that's it. No one else is going to touch it besides Steve. The government yeah. out of your plants. Yeah, they're as like, they no, typically the, do. The symbol of Captain America is much more than you know being retired. It's much more than that shield, you know. So, and it's cool because he's um, he's there, and Rhodey is there. Like we said, they you know Don Sheetle is there as as Rhodey James, you know uh, Rhodes, uh, Rhodey from you know Iron War, yeah, Machine. War Machine. He's yeah. there in his fucking badass Air Force uniform, yeah. the full thing. And he even says, you know, like, hey, like, take a walk with me, Sam. And and they talk, and it's, like, kind of neat because they were at one time at end on the, you know, obviously this is way past Civil War. Oh, yeah, they already yeah. Went it's through, about six months after. Yeah, they went yeah. through through Endgame. And, well, it's uh, after Endgame. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so I mean they're obviously cool now. They fought against the common yeah, enemy, yeah, but yeah. but at well, one time I don't know if you remember, but Infinity War, uh, War Machine is the one that calls out for Sam. He's like Sam, really? Sam, and that's when Sam disappears. And, he, and I didn't, call not, it. I yeah, don't remember that. Is that's a good call out for him. Yeah, so. yeah, nice. And, and it's cool too because he calls him brother, and it's like you know, it's it's hard to not acknowledge the fact that these are the two probably prominent african-american members of the avengers there and they're having this really cool moment uh and he even says bring your nephews i'll tell them, i'll show them how to fly the right way you know what i mean yeah and, yeah and they're walking in the cap museum and he tells him he's like man it felt like it belonged to somebody else i told him that you get to at one point here 
the the, the voiceover from Endgame, which is neat because it's like, man, it's like a right up against it, you know, like cool. This is what happens right after. Um, and he and he, you know, he tells him, why didn't you take up the mantle or whatever? And he's just like, pretty much like it just didn't feel like right. You know what I mean? He, now see, now this is what I don't like. Um, that I kind of bothered me throughout the whole series is that they kind of kept saying like Captain America was like an American symbol. And Steve, you know, is all America. That's it. Um, man, you know, by the end of Endgame, Captain America is not just a symbol of America. Great, yeah, fucking he, point. He fought. He fought everywhere. I mean, it wasn't just for America. I mean, he was fighting for the world. He fought man. for the world. So I kind of world. hated that they kept saying like Cap was like a symbol, like the the symbol for America. You yeah. know, like they were making him like the flag and. Kind yeah. of like, you know, it's kind of seemed like the Confederate flag, too. Like, this was a bad symbol, you know, that it didn't yeah. represent what it used to mean, you know. That's interesting. You know, that and, is I, an and interesting I was like, man, point. but, you know, I was like, you know, Cap fought for everyone. He, yeah, sure, he wore the outfit, you know, mm -hmm. but, I mean, it wasn't like everyone called him Steve. <laughs> right. I mean, and, and, you know, what's you're making me think about is that it almost reminds me of, like, and this is kind of a hokey callback, but, like, in Independence Day. You know, with Bill Pullman, yeah. it so happens that the alien invasion and all that is happening in, in July, and the day that we retaliate yeah. against him happens What's to be fourth? on July fourth. Yeah. You know, America's Independence Day. But Bill Pullman says that in that really great, poignant speech, which is still good. You can look at him on YouTube when he says, "Today is not going to. If we win the day, it's not going to just be America's Independence Day. It's going to be the world's Independence Day because we're fighting for the world." And he's there with international pilots and. That's the thing. When Cap fought that battle against Thanos, you know, in Endgame, it was it was for everyone around yeah. the entire fucking, yeah. not just the fucking planet, but the universe. Yeah, it was you know, a half universal the fucking universe. battle. Yeah. yeah, he strapped on the shield and he carried Thor's hammer to go at it and say, you know, I can do this all day. You know what I and mean? Look, so, uh, I, I want to go back. I don't mean to really say Captain American Confederate flag, okay? Yeah. Confederate flag is bad. Always has been. It was a traitorous flag, everything. The flag okay. of the, en the enemies, yeah. But, but what it, what I'm trying to say is, like, you know, they try making it seem like Cap became, like, that con kind of, like, Confederate flag right. almost. Right. And it was kind of like, why do you keep why do you keep saying that about Cap? No. Uh, like you said, when after the blip happened, he was trying to make people feel better. You know, he was, yeah. you know, doing council groups yeah. and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, that's all. That's why I was that's like, that's a great scene. And I just don't too, understand man. like that, that whole, this, that's kind of what really bothered me in this whole series is just how they were kind of treating cap. Like even Sam kind of like has thoughts too. Like, and I was kind of like thinking like, man, but you fought next to Steve, you fought next to him with Thanos, you know, you know, Steve is not that America's poster boy. Right. He actually even rebelled against america in yeah. civil war you yep. know so for them to keep saying that steve was like the model was representing america was the face of america i was kind of like where is this coming from like when carly would say that you know i was kind of like where is all this coming from you yeah know? captain america errs on the side of what's right what it's, he believes is right yeah you know it's not steve about has a clear view Right. No, if this is wrong, this is wrong. Correct. You know. Correct. One hundred percent. It has it has less to do with. I believe that he believes in the best of when America is the best. Yeah. It, when it's the best, it's the best of it, not the ugly side of it. He doesn't like that. It's more like when the, when the things that are said, things like the really great things that like Lincoln said, Washington said. Now he pro he would definitely not agree with them owning slaves or slavery as a whole. You know what I mean? But the the it was the, the idea the ideas the of right what America ideas. can be you know bring your tire bring your sick yes. you know yes. all that stuff yeah America was supposed to be that that place where everyone can come to with five bucks in your pocket and become something you know yeah uh, and that's what that view is that's his America that no partisan bullshit no, none of that nothing, he's no all borders. about he's all about like there's a this is a good idea. Now, we, we try to do the good idea all the time, but we get really far away. Steve is like, no, we're going to – I the good idea is going to happen. Like, this yeah. is going to be the, yeah. the the way it should be. This is what it is. All of all men are created equally. That's what he believes. 
And he looks in the best of people. He doesn't yes. give a shit what it is. That's why he. That's why he gives. Sam that's the why. Shield. Yeah, he's yeah. like Sam. You're a good man. You know. And this is what I didn't kind of like. The like for me personally, is I was like, I was like, I didn't like the waffling Sam and the Sam that gives up the shield in me that neither. first episode. I'm yeah. like, no, come on. This like, to me, this a- says to me, you doubt Captain America. Mm-hmm. Like no, don't don't. He believed in me, and but I get it. I get that the responsibility is so. I know, but it wasn't just him either. Bucky believed too. Look, it, you don't have to be the very best fighter. What Cap was seeing and Sam was like, you are the very best kind of human right. that I want to pass on this shield to. Because that's what happened you to know? him. That's what yes. happened to him. He he was chosen to be Captain America yeah, before because, he had yeah, Super Soldier Serum. Yeah. He was chosen to get it based on the man that he was. Yeah. And that's what he was doing with Sam. He's like, I know you don't have superpowers. I could give it to Bucky. I could give it to I could give it to yeah. Hawkeye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but I'm choosing but, you. Yeah, he's like, no, you know? Hawkeye's too, he doesn't believe what, probably what he thinks, you know, someone, a good guy should do. You right. Know? Sam, he believes Sam all the way. Yeah. He has faith in Sam. Yeah. You know? I, I love the callback later on in the series when Sam mentions he's like, I used to counsel, I used to counsel veterans mm-hmm. or whatever. I'm like, oh, cool. Like they brought that up. Like that made yeah. him yeah. a it was like his way of, you know, when he wanted to talk to Carly. This is later on, guys. Like maybe, you know, again, we're gonna be kind of all over with the entire series. But when he says that, I was like, great point to make to John and, mm-hmm. and Lamar that hey. I used to do this. Yeah. I talked to these people. You know what I mean? And he's never wanting to be Captain America. No. He has to kind of find out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's really cool. Um, it's like he has to be reminded of what Steve was and why he chose him to be that guy. You yeah. Know? Which I guess is a huge part of the series. And what it kind of hinges on is that kind of here's looking his journey. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Here's his journey to get there. Uh, guys, we are right up against that. Uh, is our second? Our second, yeah, second one. Uh, mm-hmm. Break. Uh, we're going to read through some comments and we want you to join the conversation. We're talking all things the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and we're calling our episode Truth Made in America because, well, all these characters you know, were made in America yeah, in the show. Yeah, so. very true. So, guys, we'll be right back in a blip, as we have said. Uh, guys, if you're joining us on Facebook Live, you know we didn't go anywhere. Uh, what a great, I think, opening here. Double A bringing <laughs> in huge uh, celebrity guests. Uh, John Walker, Captain America. Follow that. Man, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how you get any bigger than that, man. Uh, big shoes to fill for sure. Uh, but, uh, again, we're talking uh, all things uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, we're calling our episode Truth Made in America because there are a lot of elements in this show that borrow directly from the Truth comic book uh, that came out some years ago, whatever, that touched on the The Truth, the out-of-time storyline that you see right here of Bucky making his comeback, you know, and and Sam, always a big figure in the Captain America mythos, always. Totally. For a long time. They had their own comic for a while. I was going to say, for a long time, it was actually called Captain Captain America and the Falcon, so. Which is great because it was a great, long time African American character that was a big part, of, not a sidekick, but no, a, no. a partner. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, they were like a team or whatever. You know, it was it was neat. It was like that was that was really really cool about that. And you know, again, me personally, I just was never like a Falcon fan. Never really like was mm-hmm. ever. But the movies, even since from Ant Man, that was neat that Anthony Mackie comes out in that. You know, uh, when he comes out, I was like, man, they made the Falcon look cool. They made him be cool yeah i became yeah. a falcon fan you know what i mean so i love that um but we we'll re- let, let's take a look yeah, at the comments guys comments. and see what you guys think uh have double a help me out here as he usually does i don't ever have my damn glasses on uh okay right there right there rain uh out so i get to hang that's what you were telling oh us. right, right yeah, about that so uh steve says i'll get two more subs guys yes <laughs> thank you steve appreciate uh, it Guys, y'all going, y'all getting deep on this subject, Steve says. Try a little bit too much of the devil's lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I wish. Uh, then Steve tells Mario, if you're listening, I'm going, I'm coming for a good Herculoids item. And Mario says, again, for everyone that doesn't know, Mario is still here in San Antonio, and you can hit him up in his page. Um, he's just not in Trader's Village, but you can hit him up on his page at Authority Comics on Facebook. So you just type in Authority Comics, 
message Mario and he'll get back to you. And yeah. Mario, like I said, I just met those great collectors today. Uh, the gentleman, uh, the the uh, army veteran with his dad that collects. And I threw your name out there. I was like, hey, because he's trying to complete a collection. Uh, and I was like, I know a great guy to get all your stuff from, man. I mean, like I said, I said he's no pressure and I'm not pressuring. I get nothing out of it. I said, I'm just, if you're looking, I know a guy that can help you look and uh, is the best in the biz still to this day, despite despite uh no longer being in a brick and mortar type situation but uh steve says preach <laughs> i don't know what part of that was yes uh like we just had for the past four years i'm with steve <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then mario says cap is willing to put his country on the back and is very human choosing the people over himself he feels like he let america down and just again just what i was saying for some reason it, it kind of seemed like it was blasting uh steve like he was a bad guy like he was right. the symbol of america and it was kind of like man where are these people getting that idea from yeah you know especially with sam you know kind of like hey you fought with the dude man that should mean more to something when you're fighting side by side with him you trust this man with your life that should say something more than what everyone's saying to you you know yeah um that person that fights for you i definitely you know? agree i definitely agree and, and it's so interesting that you bring it up in that way the way you're presenting it because i didn't think about it that way in particular but you're right that is kind of how it was yeah and and it's neat what's kind of neat is to they're try to give you a little bit of the mindset of the people that were left behind of course you know and yeah. and that's kind of what torres tells sam he's like it was pretty rough here those five years, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And it might be hard to grasp or whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, you know, but you know, Steve was here during that time and it's like, you know, he still believed these yeah. things or whatever. Yeah. You know? He was so, still very hopeful. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And that's gotta be hard. Cause you know, in end game, it seems like he's kind of like, you know, I'm doing it. I'm doing, I'm saying the things I'm doing things, but it's rough. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. so, you know, that is what Look, it is. he knew. He was a symbol of hope, not just America. Right of hope right you know so right that's all he was trying to do was trying to give people hope totally man and man, that's let's, that's let's pick ourselves up you know and let's live that's the know? biggest power of captain america in my opinion like sometimes how we talk about um uh <laughs> steve's a great guy steve you are a great guy and, <laughs> and steve rogers as well um what we talk about with Superman sometimes one of his powers that people don't talk about is like the durability. Yeah. It's like his, his inability to quit. It's like he's, and he can take a lot of damage. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in a yeah. fight in whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, that's kind of like cap caps biggest strength. It's not necessarily comes from the super soldier. It's like his indomitable will. Yes, like, it it's is. Like, yeah. It's like, I'm not like we said, the we, super soldier serum just helps him give it is able to let him do that kind of right. stuff you know right Hang that can there. take the punishment that sure. can do it and keep coming back sure you know we guys we saw him strap on a broken shield go at thanos and uh yeah that walk just like the infinity gauntlet series where he just walked straight up to yeah. Thanos, you know and yeah it's just like like i like like, like this battle ain't over right until i'm down and pretty much you know? like you're a fucking bully and i'm not scared of you no nope. and that's nope. fucking rad mm -hmm. like i'm like Fuck yeah, like like Steve Rogers, Captain America is nowhere on the level of power of Thanos, but he just walks up to him like I don't give a fuck about and you. And it's a great scene too when they show like right before everyone comes back, it's Cap. It's only Steve there. And Thanos' whole army is coming. Oh, and he's just there ready. He's with the shield, with the hammer, he's ready to go. I watched that clip on YouTube. For no apparent reason, maybe once I or did twice too. a month, yeah. and I'm just yeah. like, man, I, if I, I, it's, I either get <laughs> teary eyed or I just get like, man, this is so fucking legit. Like, damn, that's fucking badass. Like, that's who you want to be like, you know? Yeah, it's really, really, really yeah. fucking cool. Uh, guys, any other comments? Yeah, uh, Mario says Cap is the leader in most any situation or any group. Yes, totally. he is. Because no matter what battle it is, Secret Wars, uh, the Infinity Gauntlet, Cap always seems to be the one leading the group. Right. And you have powerhouses like Thor, yep. like Iron Man, like Hulk, yep. you know, and they're all listening to Cap. I've always loved <laughs> how they always wrote Thor. Like, he's like, you're my captain. Yep. Like I follow oh, yeah. you. I'm like the yeah. God of thunder. Yeah. It's like, I'm behind this guy yep. because this man is a moral compass as well as, as being a great leader, tactician, strategist. Yeah. I think he's all those things, yeah. but above all, it's like, this is the guiding center of when I don't know what to do is right. 
he is going to he'll point tell you me in the right yeah. direction yeah and and to just trust someone that much to hey, say especially for a god that's lived for centuries mm -hmm. that's been in mm -hmm. battles that leads battles mm -hmm. you know for him to be like you know what this guy is just the best at what he does he sees you know? that in him he sees that in him that's why that moment is so epic when what <laughs> we knew and know is that you know that yeah thor could pick i mean uh, excuse me cap could pick up mjolnir and he does and you're just like oh even how he's like i knew it right before Thanos puts his boot <laughs> in him yeah. you know you're like fuck like dude yeah. i love those videos with the crowd reaction oh man yeah. man that yeah. gives you chills it gives yeah. you chills it's so good uh steve it's says so cool. it's the fighter in you right totally uh, totally steve joe yes. says going into the show boys i got choked up on the sam speech on episode six me and tim kind of had words about that one too yeah, yeah. um steve says keep the head up always yeah and see that's the thing that he's supposed to be representing that that's what i didn't like with how they were talking about it mm -hmm. in the show it was like really you forgot all about this like sam you yeah. forgot all about yeah, what Steve really is, yeah. you know, <laughs> and and maybe that is part of the show. Let's get right and back. I think into that's it. what Bucky was always getting pissed off was like, right, right. Like, are you kidding me? It, <laughs> was, that, it was that it was that old school mentality, or whatever, yeah. You know, like, what are you, you know? Um, let's talk about that, guys. We're yeah, gonna come right back into the yeah. audio because it's uh, the conversation is getting good again, and heating up, whatever. Joe, enjoy the show, man. Uh, let it, let me know how it is. Send some pics and send some. Uh, uh uh texts and tweets and well, i'm sorry my stuff. phone keeps going off guys but it's just letting me know that the storm yeah and then yeah hard. joe be careful out there too man you and the wife if you're going out there man watch out for that storm we're gonna come right back into the audio recording guys right now guys we appreciate you sticking through that brief little blip uh <laughs> as you know we are on uh youtube uh search just for the friday night uh, you can hear the complete uncut version of the show. And what we mean by that is that every 30 minutes, we take a little break to read all the comments that mm -hmm. come in during our live, which is allowing you to join the conversation and join us in talking about uh, the things that we love and the things that you love too, which is, you know, the world of pop culture, comic books, movies, TV. Yeah. And tonight, especially, we're talking about the great, great, great Disney Plus show that just wrapped up. We would like to give you like a, like a week to like in yeah. case, you know, yeah. to catch up. So we're, we're about a week out from when it finished. Uh, but the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, in our episode yeah, tonight, what, what a great show it was! What another knockout epic, by, epic. by Marvel, Marvel Comics, you know, pretty much like an extended movie, a little bit. Yes, whatever, it is a three know? hour movie that you know was made for us. And, uh, like I said, introducing new characters, fleshing out old characters, you know, bringing back villains from you know movies long ago you know it was yes. great so i want to talk about that yeah, a little bit bringing and back a character that we not we never thought we'd see her again you know and, right, and her yep. role in in this show now you know so. and allowing to put a little bit more meat on those bones whatever again in our episode tonight that we're calling truth made in america again most of these characters uh born and made in america yeah so like you know cap obviously made in america you know sam he was pretty much made here you sure. know the wings everything yeah bucky in a weird way you know hydra had infiltrated in america and made well, him. just the man you know uh, the winter you know, James, soldier you know yeah. uh buchanan barnes from from you know usa you know yeah I mean? but the hydra twisted him sure and made him into this right. new winter soldier right. you know <clears throat> so I mean, and Isaiah Bradley obviously, yeah, made in America. Yeah, we can in even very say Sharon, twisted ways. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I want to say Sharon. Uh, Sharon, Sharon Carter, too, you could say but, was made here. Yeah. Too. No, you can Maybe say the UK. <laughs> you can say that she was made definitely because of how they and Shield betrayed yeah. her. You know, yeah. So one of the characters, you know, Double A mentioned right now, you know, bringing back old characters. So a a great character who i despised in captain america civil war that i was like what the hell you know what i mean like you know this guy and like i know him and love daniel Brühl from <laughs> uh inglorious bastards he's a fucking the german bastard. sergeant york <laughs> yes the german sergeant he's a bastard in that movie um you know but he's so great at hit what he's doing like like fuck he's so good like i like hating so him. Then go ahead. No, go no, ahead. no. Just no, that, okay. you know, Baron Zemo in Civil yeah, War Baron is Zemo. back. You know what I mean? Uh, and then here's the twist. I find myself really starting to like him when I See, despise him in the other way. I, I didn't know what everyone was talking about, and I really didn't get off to it <laughs> still. You know, I mean, I was he's still an asshole. It's all right you here, Dilla. 
He still Zemo yeah. dancing. I know. I can't believe Zemo how bad danced that me. took off. Zemo dancing. It was only like two <laughs> seconds, and it, that blew up like big time. I was but like, they released the, the Zemo cut. I know they did. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, holy shit! Release the Zemo cut. <laughs> it's already out. <laughs> but uh, no, it was cool. He's. It, did you did you not feel though that it made Baron Zemo a better Baron Zemo by like fleshing out the character, showing his intelligence? You know what? I did not like to admit it, but I agreed with him pretty much throughout that he was right about Carly. He's like, she's got to die. Sure, because he knows extremist. those kind of people. Right, yeah. And we saw, like, she was like a character I really didn't care about this whole show. I never felt sympathy for her. No. I couldn't care less about the Carly character. Like, no. everyone is, like, loving her. I was like, no. I didn't love her. Yeah, she's an extremist. She killed innocent people. She blew up innocent people. <laughs> Excuse me. You but, know, so but double would, A, do you feel like that sometimes we try to paint it black and white? And maybe that's what Sam was kind of seeing as he no, was like, wait, no, because hold her, on. her her whole thought it, look she was radicalized. She was wrong. I mean, she was right in that they were throwing people out, but she was wrong in the way she was doing it. You don't become terrorists and you don't kill innocent people to to fucking further your cause. I'm sorry, you don't do that. Okay, but it's okay? the same situation as you're the law. I'm a man that steals bread to feed my hungry family. Mm -hmm. By your law, I'm a guilty of a crime. No, but she's killing people. Okay, I she's mean that's killing true. innocent people. Yes, no, you're right. You're right about that. There's that's other wrong. ways that to is fight. Right. No, yeah, no, you're totally right. We we've seen it throughout that's history. It. There's other ways of fighting that kind of shit. You know, like how Sam does. How he tells them to at the very end. You know, to stop their bullshit. And he's trying. He's they're trying. Causing, yeah, he's, he's saying even trying that to help Carly out. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to tell her throughout, like, hey, but, hey, hey, don't back it off. Back off your people. Back up, let's go another way. But and she's like, tell, no. Yeah, you can tell she was lost. She was just a lost character. Well, she that's was, what Zemo was saying. And that's what I was kind of like. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. so he's right about her. Yeah, for sure. He was right And about he's her. even trying to convince Bucky of that. He's like, you should just already, you know, yeah, do I mean, your thing. I don't know what there. Bucky was doing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, I don't know. Maybe he was just like, you know, she's a, she's a, she looks young. I don't know how young she was supposed to be. But yeah, she looked pretty I young. I mean, she, maybe Sam was trying to help her, trying to. Like, hey, stop this. You can do something more, especially with that super soldier serum running mm -hmm. through your veins, you know, that you mm -hmm. can do so much more better work. You know, don't do this. Don't, don't, yeah. eat, don't, uh, you know, resort to terrorism. You know, that's just not the way it goes. You know, no, I, I agree. And I think that Bucky was kind of a, a moral compass. He was trying. He was kind of like the voice of Steve here for Sam, and trying to be like, you know, hey, this is, but there was also that little bit of lingering, like, well, you know, this situation could get really out of hand. It could mm -hmm. go really the wrong way, and we should nip it in the bud while we can, you know. And you've got the voice of Zemo there. Uh, first off, Daniel Bro did a, a fantastic he killed it. He job killing it. it. Yeah. it was really cool to see the mask. I know the Zemo mask got some props, even though he wore it. Very, very, briefly. very briefly, but it was yeah. neat, which I realized looking at it, I was like, you know what? I bet why they had him wear it a little bit less is because with the lines on it, <laughs> it looks kind of like a Thanos mask. I know. Right? And I was like, eh, even though we know as comic book fans, that is what Zemo looked like. But, but it's not just us watching. It's all, they got a whole shitload of people watching. Right. They probably don't know the comic. No, so, and they yeah. just know, and they're probably thinking, why is he wearing a Thanos? Why is he, mask? Yeah, <laughs> why is he wearing a Thanos? Um, what did you think about how they acknowledge him being a Baron? Oh, he's like, well, I was a Baron. My family was wealthy. You're like, yeah, oh, I mean, funny. well, it kind of you know says in Civil War. I'm not too sure if they say that, but you know, obviously, Civil War, he had his family. Yes, they were living in school, school, Sokovia. Sokovia, you know, and yeah, I mean, his whole hatred of them is just you know that battle that they had over there. Oh, you right, know? yeah. You know, so I mean, they killed his family. Yeah, I mean that he became one of these villains that I thought, like, if he killed my family, I don't give a shit who you are. Yeah, you're, you're on my shit list. Yeah, you know, he, I'm sorry. He, he kind of was like Killmonger, like he wasn't really wrong. It was like a Magneto. It was like, but see, like uh, in the comics, let, let's kind of show this. Like in the comics, he's completely different. He's just right. an asshole. Right. <laughs> he's asshole. your typical comic book villain. Here they <laughs> made they made him like a really sympathetic guy that you can get behind because you can kind of see. His point of view, you know, you're just like, well, shit, you know, the Avengers, they kill his family. Yeah. It's kind of like how we were talking about the Negan. You're never really going to let that go. I don't give a shit how many good years of service you do. Yeah. You killed two good people of our family. Right. That was ours. You know, right. you're always going to be an asshole. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, and that's the same way for them. I don't give a shit how many people Cap saved. I don't care if he saves half the universe again. You're the reason why my family's dead. Sure. You know. Sure. And they're not back. You didn't yeah. bring him back when you did the the snap. 
did you? No, you know? <laughs> no. And I, I liked how he maintained his uh, resolve. Like he was like, you know, when when he encounters the guy that recreated the Super Soldier Serum, what does he do? He acts. He does kind of what we sometimes say. Like he he acts like the Punisher. He yeah. does. He's like he's like, oh, you know how you fix the problem with the Joker, Batman, like this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> That's what he does. He's like, oh, this guy's the only other guy that can make something yeah. close to Super Soldier Serum. Yeah. Super Soldiers are, are pieces Dangerous. of shit, in my opinion. Except, except, and he acknowledges, except Steve Rogers. He's like, so boom, you're dead. Mm -hmm. And he fucking wastes him. And right then, I thought that fucking Sam and Bucky were going to be like, oh, put him back in jail, take him out, whatever. They're like, no, we still kind of need him or whatever. And he was very nasty. And uh, he's just so good at being Baron Zemo. Uh, you know, like he's so good at being uh, Frederick Zala in mm -hmm. fucking Inglorious Bastard. He, I, I, I I don't know if Daniel Brühl is right there or Christoph Waltz is, but it's they're very uh, no, they were both they were really very good. fucking yeah. and good. Gosh, they're damn, they're really good. good. Yeah, I love watching that. Right, yes. I can watch. I, yes. I can watch this man act as this yeah. guy and be like, yeah. I'm, I'm game for hating you. I'm game for this. Like, I'm game for questioning. I, I'm like, am I on your side? Like by episode three, I'm like, am I a Baron Zemo fucking fan? I'm like. <laughs> I bought his Funko Pop. It's in my house. Sam was Hell Hydra. Yeah, I was fucking Hell Hydra. I'm like, what the fuck? What the capture? What the capture? <laughs> what the capture not? You know, well, that we'll get that series. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I mean, I was like, damn, because he was making good points. I was like, oh, he's kind of right. You know what I mean? So, anywho, it was great job by Daniel Brohl as Baron Zemo again. I, you know what? I would say a better, even better job than he oh, did in yeah. Civil War. No, like, for sure. Wow. Now um, I thought so too. No, it's it, all there, baby. Yeah. Like you're late. It's late. In, out. in Civil War, he he's set up as the villain. Yes. Okay. He he's the one that's puppeteering, you know, playing the right. the characters. In this one, you see him why he's Baron Zemo, why yeah. he's that manipulator. Yes. And he's almost like this. He's almost like it's not as black and white as y'all no, think. He's making no. them be like, I'm just trying to tell you what yeah. it is. And he's yeah. like, she's radicalized. No, this was so much better. Uh, the Zemo was fleshed out a lot more, mm -hmm. way better. And like I said, I'm glad to have these series because you can see more of these characters. Yes. You know, so yes. that's awesome. In the same way I said when he encountered the scientists that created the serum, later on when he encounters the serum itself, splayed about on the floor, he's like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, he's gonna just smash him. That's exactly what he fucking does. He's like, oh, well, I'll just see, get rid I, of this. I was like, boom, oh, shit, he's gonna pick him up. And then when I saw him smash him, I was like, yes, yes. I because thought that was. He knows. He's like, this is too dangerous. Yeah, yeah. For anyone. Although I did feel like I knew. I was like, oh, one got away. You know, I, I, yeah. I knew. And I was like, <laughs> and that cocksucker's gonna get. <laughs> Man, he's not a cocksucker. I, okay. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, the U.S. agent John, that was I here earlier. Watching, John. Uh, U.S. agent that uh, joined Cap us earlier. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Cap. Captain America that was here <laughs> earlier. Yeah, what is that, uh, Dr. Evil? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I just was like, I, I uh, just. No, but from. Uh, from it, 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 it was written. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it no, was no. written in a way that it maintained his character. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. this is the bad thing. And when yeah. even when they talk about it and they're debating and then they go, it, well, it didn't work like that with Steve. And he goes. Touche, like you're right, like that's your one, that's your one, but otherwise it will corrupt you, yeah, yeah, you know. And he could have taken it for himself, he could have become a super Zemo, but he's like, No way, no. this is bad, shit. yeah. And I was like, That's pretty cool. It reminded it was very imagine Daniel Brule as as Mr. Freeze. Oh, nice, who baby, nice, damn man. So it, it was really cool to see a flesh out, you know, he's he's. Locked up in a maximum, maximum security. They break him out. Where, uh, where, double A? The raft. Yeah, yeah, the raft. Very famous Marvel <laughs> prison. Uh, you know, right away he gets all his stuff back. You know, he has it. He flies home. You find out he's rich, like CM said. Uh, you know, and then he tells him what their next step needs to be. You know, he tells him, play this part. You're the tiger. You know, you need to be a winter soldier. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I need to be me. You know, and they go to this bar to follow leads to find out who's who's making the fucking serum. Yeah. You know, and they're all, it's and all there going was dancing. Well. There was emo dancing. It's all going well until they get into a private meeting and <laughs> Sam's phone keeps going off and it's his damn sister. And, <laughs> and he answers it. For some reason, he pulls it out for some reason, first off. You wouldn't even pull it out if you're in that kind of high situation. Fuck the phone. Right, know? right. Hit that button that makes it go silent. There's a something, button that makes it silent you know, something. Right just, 
you know, like, fuck, don't answer it. And then she's all like, well, let's put it on, you know, yeah, put speaker, on speaker. You know? Yeah. 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 And you're like, oh, fuck. And the sister just proceeds to like fucking tear his ass a little yeah, bit. So let's back up a little bit, double A. How about a fucking fantastic geek moment? Where is this meeting going down at? What, where? Matterpore. Oh, shit. The yes. Great, yes. 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 I'm sorry. I know. Sorry. I was like, ah. Like, we <laughs> love Wolverine. Wolverine yeah. is the yes. official favorite yes. hero of the Justin Enough Friday podcast. If you read any Wolverine issues, it pretty much any fucking time he's hanging out somewhere that he needs to get away or whatever. He goes to a made up uh, co uh, country, which it looks like it's like a pirate town. <laughs> it's a pirate town yeah. called Matterport. Yeah. Like he's always there. They mention it, the high town. The yeah. And I'm like, I'm like there, like in my seat, like what the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? Like, are we going to see a mutant? Like, I'm like, I didn't want to be like the one division people that were like, geeked over. I saw this great meme. It was so fucking funny, right? I was telling my my lady about it earlier. There's this great meme, right? And it was I was I kind of explained it to her really quickly. I just said, you know, during one division, all these fans thought that like every little thing they saw meant something. Like, oh yeah, that, that's Mephisto. Yeah. Oh, that's this. Yeah. Oh, that's it. And I said it's so funny because when they had released the uh like the opening se scenes of Falcon and Winter, you see. Sam ironing his shirt to go to the, the Smithsonian, his, for yeah, his suit. Yeah. And they're like, oh, he's ironing. Iron Man's going to come on. Iron Man's going to come back. Jeez. And I was like, that pretty much is how and everybody see, that's was acting. Why, if you ever asked me why I don't watch spoilers, that's why I don't watch spoilers. It's so much more fun to let it unfold just for me, it. too. So yeah. I, I just, I, mean, I, I love to read that shit because it's funny to me. It is funny. Uh, for that's the most fucking part. funny. Wow. But I did not see Matter Report coming. You didn't no. see Matter Report. No, no, no. And no, I'm no. like, no. Holy shit, this is like no. big time. This is like you're in Wolverine country. Like, yeah. holy fuck. So now my eyes started to kind of scan. Like, am I going to see anything? They go to the princess bar. <laughs> if you see Wolverine fight any <laughs> motherfucker at Matterport, it's at the princess fucking bar. <laughs> this is the man has literally consumed gallons of beer there. He stood up to Juggernaut there. Isn't that where they have that yes. standoff? Yes. They're there. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, this is so cool. Like it's now it's real. Matterport is a place. It's a place where we yeah. know Wolverine's yeah. gone. It can very easily come back again. And I'm like, this is no fucking him ironing or Mephisto fucking is a cricket on the curtain or whatever. This is like it's already said. This is Matterport. This is this is a country. The princess bar is real. And although they might never ever show Wolverine there, they easily can now because. We know that's where he goes that's all the time. Out. That's yeah. his fucking hangout. That's where the man yeah. drinks a fucking can of suds, or oh, maybe he drinks crap. I don't know. But I was like, "Wow, what a neat that's cool. introduction of something!" That's and, so, cool. and it's seedy, yeah. and it's like a great yeah. uh, backdrop to have like this kind of shit going down. And they start talking about the power broker. Yes, and I'm like, "Who yes. the fuck is that?" Like, I, like my comic knowledge now is like mine is, on yeah, me. mine is like gone. Like after I was. I was still into it when Bucky got reintroduced, but it wasn't very long where I really had stopped buying comics. So yeah, yeah. but it was still very cool, and it was uh, um, it's getting this very like spy movie mm -hmm. espionage feel, which is one of the very big hallmarks I always say about uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. That I loved, yeah, and makes them be so neat. It's almost like <clears throat> a James Bond flick, and we talked already yes. about how yes. the opening of this series has a very James Bond opening with all this action with Sam flying around, flying through helicopters, like, you know, so it's very cool. Um, Played out for me the rest of double A. I'm not really remembering exactly how the rest of the scene plays out. Do we see Sharon in this scene? Yeah, we, so she comes out, you right. know, and obviously Sam's like, holy shit, you know, yeah, Sharon. So Sharon we Carter. find out that's where Sharon went, you know, because she had been cast out as almost like a traitor, even though Hydra is all shield. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're saying she's a traitor. So she went to hiding. She became, we don't know yet. I mean, she's obviously, she surrounded herself with some really high price items. Mm -hmm. uh, art, she's like, a very art, powerful like. figure in this city that Sam's like, really, you're, you're able to, you know, you're, you're surviving out here, you know? And I hate to say it, though, but it kind of sucks, right? The, the people that kind of got thrown under the bus, because in a way, that's how WandaVision kind of felt. Yes, and I'm like, yes. man, nobody made friends with Wanda. Like, yeah, nobody, like no one came. Like, she lost yeah. vision. She lost her brother. This is known. Like, nobody... he thought Hawkeye was really close to her, but obviously Hawkeye has family. So, right. I mean, so he's, he's not going to be busy Wanda. You know, you but know? I just mean, like, like, Steve, I mean, like, even Steve, who I love, I mean, like, I'm like, I'm like, Cap, like, you know, 
I don't know. Or maybe they tried, but they, maybe, she was like, I don't, maybe. I'm okay, I'm okay. And like, all right, you know, like, you know, but one of the gals, you know, Black Widow, I don't know. It just was like, man, the poor gal was out there on her uh, on her lonesome. And that's why she did this and manifested this and took over this town. Well, that's kind of how you feel about Sharon. I had to admit, I kind of did forget about her too until she gets reintroduced. And I'm like, oh, yeah, man. Oh, because like, she only came out in. Winter Soldier. Winter right. Soldier. That was it. Yeah, but she had already betrayed them by getting the shield and everything for yeah. everybody. It was like that was a huge fucking yeah. She she was basically team cap at that yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. and of course yeah. she had the great the great relationship with well, his relationship with her mom or whatever, which some people say it's kind of weird later on, you know. But it's just like uh yeah, she pretty much was an enemy of the state, and you're like, mm. Well, fuck, that sucks. She was ended up as we know, doing the right thing or whatever, you know, but here you are again, it kind of brings me back to, and maybe that's a theme in this show. It is a theme. The man that still is bread defeated the hungry family. It's like, is he a criminal or whatever? Well, by the word of the law, he did break the law or whatever, you know what I mean? But, but his actions were right. He did the right thing to feed those that were hungry or whatever. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, robbed from the rich and gave to the poor, whatever. He was wrong because he's wrong. He, he stole from people, but, he was doing it for a good cause, whatever, not to line his own pockets. So, you know, I mean, it's there, there, well, I guess the point is that there's gray areas. Well, unfortunately, that's where she, yeah. So she up. starts helping, you know, Sam mm-hmm. and Bucky and even Zemo. And, you know, Sam's like always like, you know, I'm, you know, if you get us out of here, I'll, I'll go to the government. I'll make sure they give you a pardon that you were, you know, that it wasn't you. Right. You know, obviously, everyone knows now Hydra had infiltrated the highest parts of government you know and yeah you know she's all like okay you know and she, she's kind of like sure sure you know like if you, yeah, if you I mean, get it yeah, down cool because you, know? you know like i said it's it's sam it's not exactly steve right <laughs> you know right you know it's like okay sure sam you know i'm like yeah you have pool because you're with the avengers but you're not one of the more influential yeah members of the avengers and, and it kind of sucks because you almost get the vibe that even like you said about Cap earlier, where it's like, oh, people kind of have a different view. It's almost like people have kind of a different view of the Avengers, too. Like, it's like, oh, it's not like you would think they'd be like the toppest of top celebrities, or whatever, but it almost feels like there's like a little bit of like a, of a resentment towards them in some yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially in Civil War, that's where they really show all that kind of resentment right, right. towards them. It's yeah. kind of neat to me in, uh, I think, Endgame, it is when they kind of like the kids want to like see the Hulk, or whatever, but maybe it's because of the way he looks. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's like, you know, Hulk out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, so it's kind of cool. Like, you know, we get Sharon back, whatever. And yeah, so we're getting all these old characters. We get Zemo back, we get Sharon back, you know, and kind of like it's them, it's Bucky, it's Sam. Yeah. It's kind of like a weird team, right? It it's is, like it a, is almost like uh what, what's that uh man, the, <laughs> like a the usual suspect, the usual almost, suspect. You know? Now, again, I don't know exactly what episode this is, but there's a certain episode where they're going to meet the scientist. It might be episode three where they're going to go meet the scientist that has recreated the serum or whatever. But he's like saying, I perfected it. I I took out all the whatever, whatever, and I made it better. Anyway, while they're there and Sharon kind of helps them, hooks them up, whatever, Mm -hmm. she has to fight these fucking guys outside. And it's a sequence that I didn't see anybody talking about online. I'm like, are we not going to talk about how Sharon just beat fucking ass? by herself for like fucking like two minutes and a bunch of fucking dudes. Like, I'm like, at that point I was like, give this chick the fucking shield. I'm like, everyone doesn't know who deserves it. I'm like, she's fucking kicking major ass. Yeah. It was a great action sequence. It was a fight scene right on par with like the Netflix Punisher shit, uh, the daredevil Punisher shit. Well, like again, Netflix- if you don't know, like her character is a lot different in, in the comic book. She mm-hmm. is a love interest of cap. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there's really not a Peggy. I don't believe. No, I don't you know. think so like she, there is a Peggy, but it's nothing like where you see in the comics. It's always Captain Sharon, right? You know, and she right. is a badass in the comics. Yeah, you know, she an is agent a shield, shield agent, yeah. you know. and she was an agent of shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah she agent. is, and she was a badass. So it's kind of like they're, they changed her up a little bit. So it, it you know, it wasn't wasn't really too much of a surprise that she can do that kind of stuff. And the, but the, but what I mean as far as that, no, no, but yeah, the, you're the fighting. Right. No the one was talking about that, that. scene. I was like. Yeah. It, that was that was fucking dope. Again, I moved to the edge of my seat. Like I was like, man, she's beating Again, the fuck it was, out of these It was guys. like Zemo overshadowed all of them with this fucking dance. Yeah, <laughs> Zemo dancing yeah. for y'all. I fucking love that. But yeah, but she was beating ass. I was like, holy shit, Sharon is a fucking badass. In fact, she was maybe fighting better than Sam. Maybe like she, I don't know. I, I some of the things I heard or read in the 
the whisperings amongst the the, the, <laughs> the fan, whispers the whispers of the fandom was that they were like people were like straight up like sam can't fight damn and i was like well i disagree because that fight sequence we get later where he's like shoving the, the fucking yeah. wings into the ground yes. and it was he what i liked was that they showed how he used his tool and see that's to something better. i don't think uh you know they would be showing Steve doing a lot, and like how he's an expert at those wings. You know mm -hmm. that that was amazing. Yeah, and yeah, the stuff that he can do when he's in the air, right? You and know? he really used them well in that opening sequence, yes. but they kind of didn't revisit yeah, that did. until yeah, he did. a little later when they're fighting. Uh, was it when they fight John, or is it when they fight? I think that 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 first fight afterwards with the the flag smashers, and he's really like, I'm like, oh shit! Like, and see, you got to remember too, out. the the people that some are fighting are. Fucking souped up with the super right, soldiers. They're you know? juiced up. Yeah. You know, like Fuck the one he does have, like one on one is a Bat Rock, George St. Yeah. Pierre. And he holds his own pretty he much own, with, yeah. with Bat Rock. You know, obviously Cap finishes him off, but Cap is just always ranked as one of the top fighters with, in Marvel. With or without. Yeah. With or without. Because yeah. I, I read a great story by Rubaker that's just called, uh, I think it's called Steve Rogers. Super Soldier. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Did I let mm -hmm. you read it? No, no. Yeah, but I've I remember when that series cover. came out. It took yeah. a four issue. And yeah. It's cool because there's a part in the series where he becomes uh, whatever. Just regular, happens. right? Yeah, he becomes mm -hmm. regular. He's like skinny Steve Rogers again or whatever. When he's well, he still beats able. these fucking guys. And and it's cool because the, the, the dialogue is saying that it's like he's been fighting for like fucking like, Center, you know, decades. Fucking, yeah, like decades. And it's like he's like, these guys are strong, but they don't know how to move and all that. And pretty much he like you know uses their weight against it. it's kind of like when someone learns martial arts or whatever it's like they know how to you know use your energy counter energy on it. and i was like damn man it was like really really badass like i mean again i had read it uh i don't remember how but i was like i gotta i gotta own this it was so damn good you know what i mean but yeah um that was very cool uh the stuff with sharon the stuff there that's where we see zemo so, kill the fucking uh, guy okay know? so we talked about zemo we talked about he was very helpful mm -hmm. uh with that still very wanted by wakanda mm -hmm. still that was a neat moment how about yeah. that right? uh, i flipped when they came out because i didn't think we we're going to see anyone else coming from the marvel universe and then out they came and ayo Hey, Ayo comes Lee. out and she was in what a badass she is. Two other, well, number one's neat, right? God Bucky's like, Lee. I'm gonna take a walk, and you're like, it's like this moment where they're hanging yeah, out. Yeah, you're like, what the hell? Okay, and he goes and he's finding these little beads, uh -huh. and then we find out and they're they're Wakandan beads that are used to like, and right away they're like, Why the fuck is Zemo out? Yep. Like, like yep. this guy killed King T'Chaka, not cool. He needs to go back to fucking jail. And then Bucky's got to explain the white wolf, which I forgot about. I was like, wolf. oh shit, the white wolf, you know, what kind uh, Bucky was in his Wakandan time. And he's like, look, we need him, blah, blah, blah. And it's her name is AO. She's part of the Dora Milaje. And uh, we are going to see in a minute uh, in the next episode after they appear how bad fucking ass the Dora Milaje is, which we all kind of knew. And I told Double A this, I said, Seeing what we saw in that follow-up episode, where <laughs> our our old buddy uh, John Walker decides right. to uh, decides to step to the door of Milaje and do this number, <laughs> bad fucking move, my friend. And I told Double A, I said, "Doesn't it make you think about man? I wish there was a camera like the NFL camera that goes over the field in Endgame and that <laughs> scene." And I just take me to that. Take me to where those Dora Milaje are, real quick, right? Because I yeah. bet they beat the fuck out of Thanos' yeah. squad like nobody's business. Because they beat the fuck out of these guys. They and it wasn't even like a beat down. It was more just like a like, you're outmatched. You're like I'm not even. I don't have to beat you. You're. you're I'm let you beat yourself. Yeah. Like I'm like you're throwing yeah. a punch. I'm dodging and I'm just just uh yeah. just disabling you and getting you out of my way yeah i'm making you a non-factor is what it was yeah. and i was like this shit is fucking cool these are these are the royal guard of wakanda these are king t'challa's fucking you know uh bodyguards bodyguards personal bodyguards whatever and they are fucking badass it's all women you know the the bald women you know um 
uh, uh, Okoye is one with played by um, uh, Denai uh, Guerrera from Michonne from The Walking Dead, who we love. And you're love. thinking she's top until you see this one, and you're just like, holy shit. Yeah, like AO is like really, AO is really, really bad. awesome. Really bad. Okay, so we talked about Zemo. He's out. What a different character he is. What a more fleshed out character that he is. Yeah, and he's a good dancer, too. He's a great dancer. Uh, Sharon, we kind of see like what happens after her, what happened after uh, Winter Soldier. She becomes a very influential figure. Kind of criminal, uh, I guess you could say, underworld yeah. figure. She yeah. becomes an underworld figure for you know because she has to force to survive. To survive. Force to survive. Uh, we get more fleshed out, you know, of Sam and Bucky and where their heads are, at, especially Bucky too. You know, uh, you know. So we're seeing a lot of these great characters that you know were in Winter Soldier, Civil War, but more fleshed yeah. out. They're back, you know, and it's just a, uh, it's a really interesting piece with. The seven super soldiers that are running loose in the background. That's the main story here. Yes. They're all getting the together. Smashers. Yes. They're all getting together to find who's making the super soldier serum to stop the flag smashers. Flag smashers are mad because they're bringing that back the borders. They're bringing back people. Yeah. They're making them refugees again. You know, uh, so we're seeing this unlikely team up of Bucky, Sam, Sharon, Zemo. Uh, trying to crack this case of why the flag smashers are doing it and who the hell is giving them the power to do it, you know. Yeah. So, and we haven't talked that much yet about <clears throat> the character of John Walker, who yes, gets yes. introduced at the be end of episode one as the new Captain America. Like Double A said earlier, they take the shit out of this and they give it to a new guy. They, they in episode two. They mention his military record, all it's that. It's lawless, exemplary, exemplary. Yes. Uh, at one point. Uh, Bucky even tells him when they meet up. There's he he has a, a, an African American partner, uh, Lamar, uh, Lamar Battlestar. Yeah, Battlestar. They they meet up and it's kind of like Sam and Bucky and 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 then Lamar and and uh, John. John, and it's like you know, uh, Bucky tells him you know like, well have you ever jumped under a grenade and he's like yeah I have actually three times which I didn't get because I was like what well, did you not why didn't you die like you're not I superhuman know. like yeah. you know what I mean like when Cap did it. It was like a dud or yeah. whatever, but yeah. but it started to make me think about something really interesting, and I want to talk to you okay. about it right when I get All back. Right. Uh, guys, we're going to take a quick blip of a break as we do for those of you listening on audio, and then we'll be right back into the conversation. For those of you joining us on Facebook Live, we're not going anywhere. We're going to read through your comments, uh, and we're going to invite you to tell invite you to tell us what you thought about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh, sorry, guys. It's again. Uh, weather alert. <laughs> Double A, the important man that he is, phone ringing off. No, no, head. it's a weather alert. Yeah. It's no one. <laughs> As Stone Cold you say on his podcast, oh, you heard my phone ringing, and I owe you a beer if I see you there. Part. <laughs> so, guys, let's take a look at some quick comments, uh, see where everyone's uh, talking about. Uh, okay, go, go up a okay, little, little bit. bit. Okay, right there. Okay, right there. there we go. Uh, Steve says, great show tonight, guys. Thank you, uh, Steve. Mario says, fear itself number seven. Steve mm -hmm. picks up the hammer as Captain America for the first time. Original first time he was the captain. Yeah, it was a weird issue when I found out when he first picks up the hammer, he was like, it was in the Captain America. Really? I was like, wow. Really? Know? Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mario, uh, I'll take one. <laughs> Steve says, Wonder Woman can be from anywhere. <laughs> Sometimes it's all right <laughs> to be an asshole, Steve says. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she said, sorry, you getting a little too political. Scratching like two comments, Steve. It's fine. Not a that's worry, what, man. if you see the Falcon and Winter Soldier, you kind of see that's where you're going. Yeah, definitely. You know? There's definitely a social commentary oh, there. Let in the house. Hey, Let. Let, if you're still watching, hi. Hi, we beautiful cousin. You. Yeah. Uh, Steve says, yeah, kick that ass. <laughs> and then he goes, good night, guys. I've been a little too much Friday, bros. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like women. All right, Steve. <laughs> Uh, Good night, Steve. We appreciate you, man. Let's say sorry I was late. Oh, uh, that's Cheech okay. Was here. No, that's okay. Hey, Cheech. No, uh, we were late too. Actually, we're on late tonight, <laughs> so it's a it's a later one running. A uh, lot of crazy things today in the world. Uh, funeral. Uh, and again, I'm trying to show right now. If somebody is not is not there, there's Grandma <laughs> right there, and she's got the bird for everybody. So. <laughs> and we'll just keep that around as a mainstay just to use when people piss us off. You know what I mean? Okay, guys. So whoever's hanging around, we're going to go deep into uh, what we thought of the John Walker character, uh, Lamar. Um, you know, we're going to go deep in how Sam and Bucky kind of felt of towards John. them. Yeah. You know, almost, what, almost like a, almost like a, an, 
unprovoked dislike yeah. early on. Yeah. Know, I mean, like, obviously, you know, the shield for them means yeah. something. It, yeah. Bucky and Steve agreed that Sam should have been the one holding it. Now they feel like it's this weird guy. But that's here holding it's like it. everybody's a, a veteran. Everybody's but, but a military it kind of feels guy. Like, but it kind of feels like, uh, what do you, what would you say? Like, um, uh, like you feel violated almost. Like that's the way Bucky feels. Like this guy is touching Steve's sure, sure. weapon and getting the name exactly. It's like you now you're the guy. Like, like you don't know nothing about Steve. You don't know Steve. You know blah blah blah. You know right. Uh, oh, right. uh, let's just. I love her. Uh, ah, yeah. good, good. Thank you, thank you. Let I appreciate that. Thank uh, you. So yeah, so we're gonna go deep into John. We're gonna go deep into Carly. We're gonna go deep in whether she was right or not uh about her cause sam speech uh isaiah you know we're gonna oh, go man, on I love that. that we're gonna go into that, that in this next 30 minute segment which should be pretty close to being done so we we can deep dive into you know truth again uh isaiah yeah the, the whole thing about him because i never thought he would ever be introduced into the marvel universe and you know what? This was a perfect, perfect place for them to put Isaiah. Controversial yeah. from the get go, and then the controversy continues. So, um, man, I love this show, Dole. Yeah. I was like, dang, this shit. Yeah. You know, it was like, can they follow up one division? Like, how does Marvel keep doing it? And I was like, yeah. man, this is a totally different vibe, totally different feel. Yeah, so and I love it yeah. right on par. No, neither one was better. They're just both no, really fucking. No. Nice. I it, felt like I got two free movies, for, AA, like for, two free Marvel movies. You see, the thing with Marvel is like it's one big continuous story. Yes. That's always their thing. It's never this is better than this. It's always a part of a plan. Yes, you know the WandaVision is part of this plan. This is going to be part of this plan. You know, so I feel like the way that Feige's pulling the strings is like he's like I'm going to treat this like comic book storylines mm -hmm. yep. now here's the six issue yep. or the or the eight issue one division yeah. story it's one big story but with these branches you know these four parts here's yeah. this one here's what they were doing you know and here's this you know i mean and it's really weird that they don't have a lot of strikeouts like it's like oh you know they're getting a lot of like fucking i won't say that they're all necessarily home runs no, and, but and, they're getting know, on base and they're getting runs in so it, it's, it's like, funny that you're saying that because me and me and roxanne were actually talking about that on sunday we're like look most of the marvel movies aren't that great uh mm -hmm. you know you have iron man you, you have the cap trilogy mm -hmm. but then you have like uh you have like Thor, Dark World, sure. you know, which I know you like, know, uh, yeah. But you know, Iron Man two, Iron Man three, yeah. you know, yeah. not that great. Ant Man, the movies are funny, they're fun, yeah. But they're not movies that you kind of repeatedly go back into, right. like you put in the DVD, like, right? One day saying, you know what, I feel like seeing that. I'm in the mood for Ant Man, <laughs> you know? yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> so we're talking about like you know the, but it's the story as a whole that you're just like, well, you know what, Iron Man two had this part, you know. That's where he figures out the the energy thing, you yeah. know, and, and War Machine comes out more, you know. So it's it's part, yeah, they're they're not great movies, but there's parts where it's like, okay, it contributes to the story as right. a whole. And you know you what? Know? That's kind of what makes the fun of it, right? Is that like yeah. number one, you kind of do feel like an insider. They're inviting you in. Yeah. You can become an insider, you can gain more knowledge, and then once you're in, you yeah. you it's good on its own, but it's great if you like That's know whole, all the inner yeah. workers. You're like, oh my gosh, it makes it so yes. much fucking more fun or yeah. whatever, you know? Um, which is the same thing that we kind of geek out over when there's like Easter eggs and shit. Exactly. Like that yeah. Are you out of beer? No, no, no. Wait, oh, no, no, no. I'm good, but I was like, I got a beer. No, 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 no. I'm good. Okay, I got one. No, no, I'm all, good. Right. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, I think we're good on the comments uh, thus far. So uh, let's take us right back into the conversation. So that yeah, we can we're going to talk about you. John. We're going to talk about Isaiah. We're going to talk about you know good what shit. the show. Maybe we think what the show means. What it was trying to say. Right, you know? right. Pretty powerful message. Um, excuse me, presented in a really great way that really made it uh, fun and entertaining. And if you're not into all that stuff, you don't need to be. You can still enjoy the show. It is still fucking great. So, uh, guys, don't forget that we always, uh, not always, but we right now have some $20 t-shirts available. I want to thank everyone that purchased yeah, the shirt. Thank you so much. Uh, Ruby in El Paso. Uh, Jerry uh, D uh, didn't purchase a shirt in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, but we got some stuff going out to you. Jerry, keep your eye on the mailbox. Uh, Justin in Ohio, Justin Marman, Damn. thank you so much. We're going we got some stuff. nationwide, huh? Yeah, we got some nationwide. stuff going out to you in Ohio, uh, my friend. And thank you. I think that you did purchase through one of our other uh, uh, formats, so we appreciate that. Of course, there's a uh, you know um, 
the Geek Father, Marcellus, uh, with the Blurred Nerds podcast, Rocking the Tea or whatever. Uh, Steve, our, our one of our favorite, favorite, favorite fans that joins us almost every Friday night, uh, has a few drinks with us. Um, as he said, sometimes too many, whatever. Great picture of you, Steve, recently in your tea. Guys, let's get 12. I, I sold some yeah, teas um, the other day. Let's get 12 friend, together for a calendar. My friend who is a veteran of the military, she's in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. representing our stuff too so really yes. nice yes. man so uh, we got to get a picture of that guys if yeah. you've got our merch and you've got it with you take a picture in your stuff send it to us we'll put it up on our page our instagram if you're okay with that if you're okay with the yeah. image being out there or you can just you know your chin down or whatever you know but roxy wanna, has yeah, done it foxy roxy quite a few done times, it one time you know, said steve uh joe we said he said he's out there rocking it right now yeah. at a show man that's greatly appreciated uh y'all know me if you see me out um, i'm a whore for our own our merch. cousin mario he loves wearing that shirt. I've seen him like about a few yeah. times wearing our black and white, just another Friday night. Yeah, shirt. he wore it last Saturday when I saw him. Yeah, he and did. he also just recently purchased a hoodie, a special order hoodie that's coming. Yeah, it's yeah. already in. In fact, I got to go pick it up. I'll pick, be picking up his hoodie, and he's going to get a, a, a secondary hoodie redone for us by the great, great, great people over at Deuces Mercado, whose work is. And he's exemplary. already been with us exemplary. for, for good yes. few months. Already. We love you, Annie or Anna, if you prefer, any or Anna, <laughs> but at Deuces Mercado, she is Deuces Mercado. Deuces Mercado is her. So we want to we want to promote her business above anything else. But if yeah. you guys need yeah. stuff, tumblers. A luchador went to her after that, yeah. and uh, she got she she hooked them up. She hooked them up. Yeah. I, I want to go get one of her shirts from them. I haven't made it out there at Lucha yet, but uh, gorgeous shirts, uh, and her work is absolutely fantastic. So uh, we definitely love her and want to support her. And if you need anything for your – you're having a family reunion and you need 20 shirts or your work thing or school, something like that, whatever, she can take care of you. Deuces Mercado. Uh, look, uh, look for them up on Facebook or Instagram, and they do – really great shit uh that's where we go for our stuff in fact our bottle openers are out here somewhere i'm sure uh here here we go right here um you know one of our one of our bottle openers we gave some the of these black away side and maybe turn the it black around side. it's a uh, great the silver side yeah uh, those we, have been really popular with a lot of our and it goes right if it's right in your wallet like a credit yeah, card like so. those are probably like our best selling items yeah. are the bottle openers You're a lot of people without. just love them yeah and, and like never, cm said they're perfect size that you can put in your wallet you just bring it out. Somebody yeah, I mean, sometimes open, you're, boom. you're in a place where you don't have a bottle opener. Yeah. It's got a twist off. It's yeah. like, and and I've I've uh, we've given some of these away to to in certain situations uh, that we've been in. Whatever we just happen to have them. If we ever have a surplus, and there's the situation's right or whatever, it's almost like the military with their little coin. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. might have we might happen to have one extra, and then we just <laughs> put it in our yeah. palm, and then we just hand yeah. it to you like that. Yeah. So, uh, guys, let's get back into the conversation of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Man, I'm loving this episode so much, just as much as I love the show, because it was fucking phenomenal. So um, I'm hoping that uh, the U.S. agent will get a chance to watch it. He was here earlier. Yeah, what a great guy. Uh, I'm sorry he was rude to you. I, I mean, yeah, you know, I, I little, felt a little snubbed, but you know, what, what can Maybe you do? Maybe you deserve right? it. Maybe it's possible. I did. I did try to get him to sign my my uh, yeah, Sam Wilson. It's kind of a dick move. Yeah, I didn't realize. <laughs> I, just, I, didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. All right, guys, let's get back into it. Yeah. Guys, if you if you brave the blip, we're back. And if you were here with us on Facebook Live, you heard us talk about the time that we met John Walker, and I tried to get him to sign a comic book. Of Sam Wilson, yeah, Probably a lot of our movie. a lot of our guests were very positive on Mr. Oof. John Walker. <laughs> I I did see I, I I looked through later on and saw that his comments were uh he was getting quite a bit of uh yeah. of fan love yeah. you know what I mean so you know hey what do I know you know what I mean I just saw it past him in the hallway he bumped me I said excuse me U.S. agent would you sign some this? people are being a little rude some people but uh, he's not fair you know right. he's a patriot man I gotta tell you the truth double I'm a Steve Rogers guy oh, damn. that's just sorry me. John hey not for everybody right what are you gonna do guys just like just another Friday night podcast not necessarily for everybody <laughs> if you're here hanging out then we appreciate you uh guys you know that we go live every Friday night on Facebook live so that and you I know it's a hard night it's you know. Friday night you know most people are done with their week they want to go out. They want to go drink. They want to go eat. Hey, that's fine. But it's okay. raining out, and you should be at home. And you should you be, should be at us. home, and you should be watching. But in case you don't, after this tonight, you can hear us on every podcast podcast platform. You can hear us on Spotify, which is very popular. You can hear us on Anchor, iHeart, Amazon, Podcast Addicts. 
You know, I mean, Audible, Audible. Um, I think Double A hit most. Those of are the main ones. ones, and you'll you'll probably find us like on Podbeans. I think there's yeah, one called Podbean. Yeah. Podbean. If you're yeah. on a podcast platform and you don't find just another Friday night, by iTunes. Searching it, we're on iTunes. Like I said, look, iTunes, Spotify are probably your two. Look for our logo, especially when you go to when you go to YouTube. Dot, dot, go to youtube.com and search just another Friday night and look for this logo. Looks very similar to this. It's white. It's white with a red logo. Hit the subscribe button on that. On YouTube, you can hear the whole yeah. unabridged conversation, the full of the episode. Because in the audio version, we cut out the little breaks yeah. where we reread comments. Now, if you don't want to hear the comments, if you don't want to see the uncut, I would recommend the audio. Mm -hmm. It's a lot smoother. It's probably this is less. like a tighter episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a tighter episode. So if you just want to do that, you know, on a on a trip somewhere for work, something that's probably the perfect time you can listen to us. Yeah, I, uh, our body, our buddy John. That's what uh -huh. he says. He always listens to. Yeah. He he drives everywhere. He's a salesman on the construction side, and uh, he says that helps him get yeah. through his day. So I met some great, uh, hopefully future Friday nighters tonight, and uh, they're comic book fans and comic book uh, media fans. It was neat. It was a husband and wife uh, duet of mm -hmm. of uh, she was a DC, who was a Marvel. So that was kind of cool. I'll let them know about us in the show, and uh, we just started talking kind of shop about things we liked. Didn't like we talked Snyder Cut for a little mm -hmm. bit, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, I let them know is, you know, uh, the uh, the gentleman and the, the couple was saying that uh, the husband, he was saying, he's like, hey, you know, I, I normally listen to music. I do a lot of long rides. And I said, oh, okay. yeah. And, yeah. I, and I, I said, you know, for me personally, I said, I love music. We talked about music on this show. I listen to it all the time. I said, but sometimes I hear music so much. It's like, it's almost like it's kind of like like it's rocking me to sleep. Yeah, like I'm falling asleep. Yeah, that's why so I feel too. good. Yeah. It's so good. I said, so I listen to podcasts, and then I'm like, I want to hear the, mm -hmm. the talking points, mm -hmm. so I kind of get, I get a little bit more engaged. It kind of yeah. perks me up, yeah. uh, you know. When you want to change a, a pace, or whatever, and so we hope that we're able to be here and provide that for yeah. you when you want to hear a little something. They're like, you know, you're like, hey, I love, I love the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, or maybe you, you know? weren't unsure about Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and you heard our episode, and you're like, hmm, you know what? That's kind of like plot lines I didn't think that they were gonna have in there. Right. Right. Uh, maybe I'll check it out. You know, maybe we can help you with that too. So yeah, or if you had certain thoughts about the show, and then you're like, you know what, I want to see if their thoughts align with my yeah. thoughts, or yeah. if I think the opposite of them. I'm yeah. like, no, those guys are fucking idiots. Like Sam here, let's see here. You know, the Kevin Smith one to kind of see if he thinks like the same way like Kevin, or maybe he has some disagreements. Yeah, Fat Man Beyond. Yeah, yeah. and I also want to know what you think about Zemo dancing. <laughs> All right, Sam. So we've talked about Zemo. We talked about Sharon. We kind of yeah. fleshed out Sam. Mm -hmm. You know, Bucky. Um. Man, I kind of want to get into uh, Isaiah a little bit. Cause, yeah, uh, let's do it, man. You know, Isaiah, again, the Truth comic storyline was very controversial. Again, uh, no one really liked the story. There was a lot of hate. Mm -hmm. So, but that was the years, right? It's It's been past kind of, you know, more people started appreciating Truth when they kind of started finding out what it was about. It wasn't, he was not the original Captain America. Yeah. They were just trying to find the serum so they can give it to another guy that can be Captain right. America, not necessarily Isaiah. Isaiah was and, never supposed to be right. Captain America. And the know? point <laughs> is, it's kind of like, well, uh, we got to test this. Who are we going to test it on? Yeah. And it unfortunately, is it's that soldiers, time period yeah. where it's America. It's still very racist. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that's to almost every race. Uh, during World War II, we put a lot of Asians in right. camps. That's right. Uh, under FDR's uh, presidency. Yeah. Uh, you know, sadly, sadly we did. And same thing with the African Americans; they were still kind of treated like shit. Yeah. Um. You know. So yeah, we're kind of like the full title, I believe, is "Truth, Truth Red, Red, White, White and, and Black." Black. You know, I mean, um, like it's so. It's I would so recommend bold. it though. If you're a bit, if you're just a comic fan, uh, if you don't want to get yeah. too believable, but if you just like comic book stories, uh, I would say check this one out. It's a really good series. It it, it really is really neat. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I had the CM chance to read it. The ending. If there's the one thing that he did, really he cool. Loved the ending. It's a really yeah. cool uh, ending, and I I geek just as much as Double A did uh, with you know the introduction of Isaiah Bradley and how that happens in the show and how it's. You know, Bucky that kind of says, I gotta tell you something. Yeah. And Sam is beside himself, like, like, why the fuck did you keep why this from me? Yeah. Like, like, why don't people know about this? Like, that would hurt. That would be crushing. That would be like if somebody told me, Hey, there's a very famous Latino uh 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 comic book creator mm -hmm. that no one knows about, and he created like X, Y, and Z. And it's like 
Why, why, are, why, are, why, why are we celebrating this guy? Like, we'll do an episode on him. Like, that, that's you know, it's like these cool, characters you know? under the Marvel or DC banner, but yet we don't know, like, who created him. And then you find out, you're like, what the fuck? How right. Come no one's talking about the dude. Right. Like, like, you know, you know or, or, or filmmaker, because, you know, yeah. we were both big yeah. film fans. I mean, we love guys like Guillermo del Toro and yeah. um, Alfonso Cuaron. Alfonso Cuaron. Yeah. I mean, like, that's when I sit down, like, that's just, it's just, it's just cool. You know what I mean, it has nothing to do. They're, it's not about who their race, they're great filmmakers, it doesn't matter or whatever, or their nationality or whatever. It's they're great filmmakers. But you know, when you feel like this is what I love so much about Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and it's said many times, and the the essential concept of it is that like anyone can wear the mask. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like anybody that's what's neat about Spider-Man's mask, it's not like Batman's that the mouth is open, or even <laughs> Superman, who you can see clearly who he is. But with with, with Spider-Man, his entire face is covered, anyone could be under there. And you could be under there. You could be Spider-Man. That is uh, empowering. It's very empowering or whatever. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, that's what's um, awesome is that when there are characters like Miles Morales, who is, you know, uh, uh, half half African-American, half half Puerto Rican. Half Puerto Rican. Like, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, that's, you know, he's... It is Latino or whatever like this, but it's it's neat because you just feel like like you got one of your guys. Yeah. 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 It's like one of your guys is in the game, you know. Yeah. You're like, hey, that's my guy or whatever, you know what I mean? Like I said, I root for Tom Brady on the Buccaneers, even though I'm a Patriots fan, because I'm like, hey, he's still kind of, like he's still like one of, that's like one of our guys or whatever, you know what I mean? Not Kawhi Leonard. I don't root for him. Fuck that guy, yeah, you know? Fuck <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. But that, that's very different. He yeah. stabbed us in the back. So yeah. That's different. But you know, that's what it it feels like. So when Sam is is so first off, you know, uh, real quick before we no, get no, into no, that, no. you know, so when Truth came out, you know. Isaiah really became deeply rooted in the Captain America mythos. Yeah. Okay. So in the end, that's when you find out it's a really cool scene. But here we get a very bitter Isaiah Bradley. He's old, but he's still fucking big. Oh, yeah. And you find out he's still the super soldier serum is still pumping horse in his blood when he throws that object into the wall yeah. super hard. Apparently, and Sam's like. What the fuck just happened? Like, what did I just yeah. witness? Apparently, you know? Bucky and him got into it when he was under the Winter Soldier, and <laughs> Isaiah kicked his ass. Yeah, ripped off his arm and everything. You know, so they have a history. <laughs> you know, of, of fighting, and Isaiah whipped his ass pretty good. And here's another you cool know? thing, right? Double like, join join me in this conversation. But it's like, isn't it one thing? It's one thing if you're pumped up with Super Soldier Serum, and I'm pumped up with Super Soldier Serum. Super Soldier Serum. Super soldier serum, that's fun to say. <laughs> um, maybe like how Isaiah was pumped up, and then you've also got buckets. One of us still is going to be the better fighter. Yes, yeah. There's more to yes. it. You got a guy. You got to think about it. Captain America is in a world of guys that see, are more powerful. See, than it's him. just like UFC boxing. You can have two mm-hmm. of them. Best, best boxers, mm-hmm. but yet someone always going to come out as the victor. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the fighter of the century, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. Both were seen as the very best, but yet Joe Frazier came out on top. Yeah. So it just really depends on who wants it more. Better. What would you say? What it was? Better movement. Better, better movement. More heart. More power. More definitely more power. Okay. But more heart of just wanting that one. Wanting. wanting yes. Yeah. For Isaiah, you gotta imagine his whole life is a fight. Bucky is programmed. They right. sent him. Hey, you gotta go kill this guy. Right. Okay. Isaiah is having more probably more emotions. Yeah, running through him. Yeah, he he doesn't want to die by this fucking guy, so sure. he's gonna be more vicious than he is. Yeah, he's gonna come at him probably more than Bucky is. So. Right, ah, that's rad. Yeah. It, it's very. It, and again, I don't want to keep. I'm obviously on the Steve Rogers bandwagon, <laughs> but it is him when he goes up against Thanos. Here he is. Sure, he's carrying Thor's hammer now, but he goes at him with. Fucking like I he hits him with that fucking knee. Boom, the mm-hmm. uppercut. Boom, like he's on him. Boom, the lightning. Like it's like he approached it like a fighter. Yes. And here's the thing: it's like you know we've talked we we've talked about it with like with preacher with Jesse and Cass. You know what I mean? It's like it's like you might be strong and fast, but you fucking can't fight. I've been fighting for mm-hmm. all this time, whatever. So I'm gonna use your advantages yeah. against you, yeah. and I'm gonna use my counter, and it's gonna keep to... me in a fight. You might beat me, mm-hmm. but you know what? I'm gonna be in this fight longer. And I think that's why guys like Wolverine are have always managed to stay in there with the Hulk. Yeah, because oh, yeah. of his fighting skills. Right, right. And it's not, it's not, a, it's not a disadvantage to rely on your strength. On that, that's your power. That's. That's kind of what a lot of people say about Superman or whatever, Look, which I it, don't like. It's know? it's like you can even say this again too. 
Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield. Mm -hmm. Everybody wrote off Holyfield. Everyone said he was washed up. There's no way Mike Tyson lands a punch on him. But see, at this point, Mike Tyson was just that all strength, looking for that knockout. Yeah. While he's doing that, Evander is kicking his ass, boxing him, outboxing him, out punching him, yeah. counter punching him until he knocks Michael out in the eleventh round of that first fight. Yeah. So the him, power yeah. guy, the more stronger guy, Mike Tyson yeah. lost to the better fighter. The better fighter, right? Yep. Right. Would you say the field. same thing was when? Uh, what's the famous fight where Ali does a rope a dope against Foreman? Against this Foreman. guy is and the Foreman most, looked like a beast. No, Foreman was a beast. This guy probably hit harder than Mike Tyson in his prime. Yeah, I would say George Foreman is the most dangerous oh, hitter of all like time. It. He looked and fucking huge. The better <laughs> fighter. The smarter fighter, you know what happens? He knocks down George Foreman in the eighth round. The wear down, like the he the wore him down, the and then he back. knocked him down. The, the waiting it out. I think that's the one of the very few times I can't even think of George Foreman ever getting knocked out again, or even before that again. Yeah, you know, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but George Foreman got knocked out. We're 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 immersed in boxing right now, <laughs> but it's we're talking about the better fighters. Sure. It, it, you sure don't have to be the strongest to always win. You just have to be the smartest and the better fighter. We've seen Mike Tyson get his ass kicked yeah. at his prime. Yeah. When he was supposed to be the baddest man, you know, and just because you're strong doesn't mean that you're going to get that knockout. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> There's more to it than that. And here you have a super powered winter soldier, Bucky Barnes. Against, about the equal, right? Yeah. About, I, about equal. I would say Isaiah, equal to Bucky, Isaiah Bradley. Equal, you know, this, but you know, now, now it's going to come down to, the fighting styles, yeah, or, or who wants it more, who wants to stay alive yeah. more, you know. Now, let me ask you some double A, yeah. So, here's something that people are really geeked out about again. And, and spoiler it if you haven't watched the Falcon the Winter Soldier, <laughs> you probably should watch this. But when we get introduced to the Isaiah Bradley character, his nephew is kind of the go between, yes. or whatever. Yes, he is. People yes. that know know that the nephew of Isaiah Bradley, um, goes on to become the Patriot, mm -hmm. one of the young Avengers. Now, double A, where is it? Do you know because it's not addressed in truth? No, no, where, no, no, where no. is it addressed that that uh the it nephew had to have been later issues, maybe in the young Avengers, yeah, because it okay. might have been even in the young okay. Avengers. I yeah. wonder if they say that, which which again is very neat how they this is shows it proves further how the Isaiah Bradley lore is continued mm -hmm. because his nephew literally becomes a young Avenger. Now, that, again, this is very different though, because when we see Bradley, he's older already, but he's very bitter. And mm, it's a lot yes. different than what we see in the comics, right? Uh, it's I, very different. I, I did like this version a little bit better. I did too. It it's felt more, more fleshed out, fleshed out, more real yeah. world too. Yeah, you know? and he's very bitter after what they did to him. After he served his country, they threw him in jail for thirty years. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. crazy because you know? he broke out some of his guys. Yes, because they were being they're being experimented on yeah it was almost nazis yeah you know? and it was almost like a kind of a treason but type. he said that he ended up just dying anyways because of these horrific experiments that they were being worked right. on you know it was pretty much tested on several black soldiers like and again if you read survivor. if you read truth they're it's they fu die it's up. very it horrific up, very very know? horrific and i don't know if the writer of that book borrowed or read up on maybe some and of the Tuskegee have. stuff well, which is maybe not awful, even maybe so. not even that maybe some of the even the Nazi experiments yeah you know yeah uh they actually experimented on people to yeah. see how long they could survive drowning and all and that, and stuff, that, that shit is fucking awful too uh it, but again uh but we you know we kind of see you know Sam keeps coming to him like over the episodes and he warms yeah. up to Sam but he kind of puts that doubt in Sam's brain you know when Sam's thinking about maybe taking the the shield on his own he's like yeah you're never going to be Captain America you're black you're never going to be seen as that of America's symbol of America's protector right. that's just right. not going to happen and he he says something pretty poignant too not to interrupt you no no go ahead, go ahead but it's pretty much like no self-respecting black man would pick it up. I think he, this is where it, it bothered me again because mm -hmm. Sam should have been like, I knew that guy behind the shield. There, there's more to it than and that. And he was nowhere near what you're saying. Right. He wasn't the America that fucked you. Yeah. This guy yeah. was the very best of what the world should be, you know? And, and I think that's kind of what they're saying, right? Like, like I think this is a big part of the show is that it's kind of saying like, um, the world has separated the way they think of Captain America 
versus the representation of mm -hmm. it. And so it's very, very different. It's almost like when, when Superman used to say truth, justice in the American way. And it was almost like, well, the American way became kind of taboo because the American way isn't necessarily always the best way. Okay. Okay, fine, sure, sure. That'd be like if I said uh, truth, justice, and Chuck's way. Well, someone might say, well, double A's way is better, or whatever. And I'm like, all right, but what if the what? But if the way that I wanted it to be was an idealistic way, the the, the idealistic things are better See, about it. What, you know what, what I mean? kind of sucks though is that America follows the president, and it's pretty much the direction where the president takes America. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's not in a good direction. Sometimes it's they try to appeal to a certain base that they shouldn't be. Captain America is supposed to be the representation of everyone, mm -hmm. of just that will to lead, that will to fight, that will to survive. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he represents what the real America should be, not one guy that says for four years, hey, you know what, we're going to stop helping this guy. Right. You know, but we're going to be helping right. this guy. You know, it. that's what kind of sucks about politics, you know, especially when they're being paid uh, to support an agenda. Captain America is not paid to, to support any agenda. Captain America is there to protect America's values, the real, right. real values of helping your neighbor, of welcoming people in. You know, to make America better. Yeah. You know, one of the cool lines I love from the Boondock Saints, and again, this is not to do like a religious <laughs> thing or whatever, but when Agent Smecker, played by William oh, Defoe, shit. goes to the priest <laughs> and he's like, you know, what should I do? These guys are just killing bad people. You know what I mean? Like, you know, should I stop them? I know who they are now. You know what I mean? I can stop them. I'm the law. I'm the FBI. Or whatever. You know what I mean? And he she, he says pretty much. And I'm paraphrasing, but the priest pretty much says, you know, well, uh, the laws of God are above the laws of man. And I was like, man, that's fucking pretty poignant because it's like, well, there's still pieces of shit. So <laughs> fucking let them, I'm not saying go out and murder or whatever, you know what I mean? Because there has to be someone that makes that judgment. But again, watch the Boondock Saints if you haven't seen it. But it's almost like that. Like Cap is almost saying like this ideal exists above your politics yes and that, that's what i mean america has america is supposed to be like i said we we take people in right. just because this guy that's in power for four years says no we shouldn't take these people in yeah really for four right. years and then the next four years someone's gonna be like oh remember what that guy said well come here you know right and, and you know cap's like no we this, should always be like that this is to me this is what cap is like cap is like imagine all the good things just the good things that either party says and they happened he he says this cap says this all those things you said that are good that we should do let's do those things and all those things that you guys said they should do let's do those things but what you guys actually do when you get in there we're not going to do any of that and yeah. they don't like that so that's that's now, a see now isaiah unfortunately sees that part of america right and for because him, of his experiences and for he's him not wrong. he sees steve which he doesn't know he doesn't know steve rogers but to him he sees his white blonde hair blue eye right. perfect american you know representation but not knowing the guy that sam knows right you know and it kind of makes sam i don't know like it kind of pissed me off because sam should have been like i know steve i don't know you yeah you know i know what this man stood for yeah and he doesn't say any of that whatsoever. He kind of has to think about it until, like, his sister and Bucky have to kind of remind him, yeah. you know, of what Steve was. But in know? a sense, in a sense, it is one of those things where it's like, well, you're like me, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. don't you don't you feel don't you feel my thing or whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, it would be I like know. I try to tell people this about myself personally, and I might be wrong. People, I try to tell people, I'm like, it doesn't matter if you're my best friend, like you're my podcast partner, Double A. But if another guy on another podcast, <clears throat> I guess, says something that I I agree with is more accurate, it doesn't matter that our allegiances, I'm going to be like, well, this is more right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, if it truly is. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's what Steve is kind of doing. You see Rogers. He's like, 
it's not about anything else. You know, the blinders are on. It's like justice. You yes. know, they show justice yeah. blindfolded. It's like, it's like yes. this is what's yes. right Lady or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, at the same time, I'll argue my point till I'm blue in the face. If it's like, oh, this is my favorite character. No one can beat him or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm going to say, you know, no, that's my guy or whatever. You know but see, like, Sam should have been like, you know what, to like, Steve didn't pick anyone. He picked you to be yeah. that guy because he saw something that was great about you, that you stood by your beliefs, that you represent everything that should be this country, yeah. you know, the world, even the world, you're someone that could represent the world. And it's kind of like he, I don't know. Uh, well, I, don't know. I, I won't say that Isaiah's, it just, I think Look, there was, there was there's clearly sucks. doubt in Sam. Of course. And this just and it widened just the gap widened of doubt. It, yeah. You know what I mean? So it was like, well, I was so kind of unsure. That, that Sam had kind of has to go back home and kind of reevaluate center you know? himself. Yeah. And you know, he kind of starts doing some home stuff with his sister. And that's when Bucky comes in and kind of reinforces, like, hey, look, Steve picked you because of who you are, you know, yeah. not your color, not yeah. you know, anything else. He saw that you're a good guy. That you fought for everything that was right. He's almost that, saying, like, don't you see it? Don't you yeah. see what he's like? He gets you? frustrated with Sam because yeah. he's like, God, and that's so cool. See it. That's so cool. And like, a lot of people, I even read some shit online that people were like, oh, people are bringing in Black Lives Matter into my Marvel no, shows. And, no. and, and other people were arguing fantastically. Fans were arguing and they were saying, did you read the fucking comics? Like, Sam becomes Captain America. Yeah, whatever. and see, that's what pisses me off is like when people start putting their agendas into something. Right. No, right. that's not what they were fucking doing. Yeah. You know, stop. Yeah, you know? And, and this is a well-done way and of remember, kind of remember, this, this is a comic. Right, <laughs> right. And people, don't forget too, Bucky was capped for a little while with yeah, a gun and that was a big deal. It was that like a cap was with a the gun deal. or whatever. Yeah, because know? he was actually in the cap outfit. Yeah. And There's he a very was famous cover Captain of America. like Alex Ross where he's like that with yeah. the gun. You know? And he was being called straight up Captain America. So like that was controversial as well or whatever. But. So, you know, we'll, we'll get into this more, but, you know, obviously it was still really cool to see a character. I never thought I would see Isaiah Bradley in a, in a show. So it was really cool to see him and he gets more fleshed out more and more and he softens up to Sam a lot more. Yeah. Because uh, we get a small taste of him like midway through the series, but then we get a nice good taste of him like, right part, before the yeah. end, the second to the last episode. And you're like, man, like, and you do you despite all that you do like the Isaiah Bradley character? Yeah, I did because yeah. I was like, man, I liked him almost better than the book. I was like, oh, they gave you so much more. I was like, I'm 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 there for it. Like I'm there for this. You know what I mean? Because you're the conversation you're having and his his anger and his bitterment and bitterness and his resentment is so understandable. It is. Like I'm like, it man, is. you're serving up something yeah. that I'm like, I get it. Like, yeah. I don't blame you yeah. one bit, you know, yeah. uh, for any of that. So that's very, very cool to me, and I, I love that. Too. Okay, so we go from, like, one that was very controversial, potential Captain America, to this next very controversial <laughs> person that got picked, who was my co-host for about 30 minutes. Man, what Mr. a treat. John Walker. What a treat. Man, oh, man. And I love Wyatt Russo. I've seen him in, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, man, I forget that movie. It's based on a Van Halen song. Uh Shit. Everybody wants some. Okay, he is great in that movie. He's Kurt Russell's son with Goldie Hawn. Yeah, um, man, good looking I, guy. Good I looking thought guy. he was fantastic, man. I thought he played the John Walker character really well. Everybody blasted him. Now, when I was, I was trying to avoid the spoilers, but obviously there are so many. Sure, I thought he was a real asshole. I was expecting this in guy real to life, be. You mean? No, no, it, like in the show. Oh, like, right. I was expecting like to really hate this character when yeah. I first saw him because I, I, it kind of took me a little while to catch up. Yeah. When I saw it, I was like, well, geez, I mean, there was really nothing to hate. No. He's trying to get Sam's approval. Yeah. Almost. He's, he asked to work together. He asked. He's he's there. He kind of helps Sam and Bucky mm -hmm. a little bit, you know. And I, I felt like you. Number one, at first, when I first saw it at the end of the episode, when I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, what? which honestly, it kind of surprised me again because I didn't think they were ever going to bring this character in. Yeah. You know, John Walker is an old character. He's from mm -hmm. from the eighties, yeah, the eighties, and he does replace Captain America. Captain does become the Captain. 
Right. Just like Mario said earlier. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And and I'm pretty damn sure at that time it was very controversial too that Captain America was no longer Captain America. <laughs> yeah, you know? I'll bet. Yeah. You know, that the it was John sounds, Walker. The yeah. captain sounds like a and fucking got pirate. That, you know, comic right here, Captain America 350. It's the Captain versus Captain America. <laughs> you know, and it's John versus Steve. Steve is around at this time, but it's both of them fighting. You it's know, great, man. Great stuff. I liked Wyatt Russell. I was, I thought he did a great job, and he's a very fucked up. He's a, you know, a a veteran that has traumatic, traumatic uh -huh. post traumatic syndrome, uh -huh. PTSD, very bad, you know. But he holds it well. His record is amazing, his Ima uh, an impeccable record. Number one, the only reason why I wasn't completely hating on him early on for me, and I don't mean to interrupt you. No, no. Uh, is that, uh, and I'm sorry if you guys see me rub my arm, like now, it's now, bothering now they shot, it's bothering it's, it's, it just feels yeah. like a bruise. Like it's feeling yeah. like it's tightening up, you know what I mean? But uh, don't let it dissuade you. Like I said, it just, it, like I said, it just feels like. If any of you like, guys have gotten the second shot, yeah, it feels like yeah. a little bruise right Yeah, there. it feels like all of a sudden, yeah. like double A just like socked me in the yeah. arm and I'm like, now I'm like, ah, oh, shit, you know what yeah. I mean? And obviously he didn't, but, uh, but um, they make a, a very valid point. Number one, he's married to a Latina. They show that right away. To me, that's important because it's like there. this thing is a part of the show that there's these things. So it's like that's not his thing. He is an exemplary soldier. Or whatever. Yeah, he's yeah. got all the, I think they say two Medal of Honor or yeah, some shit like that. Or that's three. crazy. Yeah. Like, I, was I was like, like holy <laughs> fuck. Like, I mean, like they show him, it's really neat. They show him with his like stuff. Like, he served America medals. at its very best. Yes. Army know? guy. Um, multiple it's, tours all yeah. that stuff so to me right away i'm like that's instant respect for me i'm like all right you can paint him how you want to paint him but that's still he was there but here's the thing that they did that i didn't really catch they did that thing where they were like we're, we're showing you the perfect soldier which remember it wasn't the perfect soldier as erks er, er, erks erskine stells cap uh i'm fucking it up Erskine, Erskine, whatever. You know, the doctor I'm talking that makes the serum in the original uh, First Avenger. He says, not the, the perfect soldier, but a good man. And I don't think that John Walker is a bad man. He's, He's not just a, bad a man. better soldier. Yes, he is. That's first. See, Steve wasn't a soldier first. He was more, he hated bullies. He hated yes. these things. That's John, his thing. John went into the military. He's the all American guy. Mm -hmm. He's the perfect soldier, mm -hmm. just like CM said. You know, mm -hmm. so he's not really thinking for himself. He's thinking what the government tells me what to do, and I do it. D do you yeah. remember Double A and uh, and it is in uh, First Avenger? The other guy that like they're, yeah. they're kind of yes, that, they're, that the, they like the one that Tommy Lee Jones loves a lot. Yes. yes, I was even reading people writing memes. They were like, "Ah, oh, it would be neat if they wrote that John Walker's his descendant." What's his? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, well. <laughs> It's a little on the nose, but I get where y'all are going because yeah. that's exactly yeah. the point of that. That's the point of saying that is that see you can have the skills, but if you don't have the character, the heart, right. you're never really going to capture what Captain America is right. supposed to be. Here's the thing: Captain America is not Steve Rogers. Captain America is not afraid to defy orders if they're wrong. Exactly. John Walker, Captain America. John Walker is yes. He's you know. he's you know uh, Dawson and Downey. I follow orders yes, to the yes, T. Yes. It does not matter. Men, yes. Yeah. Unit, core, God, country. Yes. I do not stray from what is being told to yes. me. I am the perfect soldier, which is what you want. You want uh, a killing machine. You want a. You want you, a guy that's going to go out there and just do what you tell yeah, him to do. Don't ask questions. Yeah. Do what the fuck I'm telling mm -hmm. you to do. Your and, mission. And do it well. Okay. Right. There's not necessarily anything wrong with that. I kind of except when you're carrying that shield. Yeah. Then but, you but need now, someone. But that's when I tell you the government, it's your government's vision right now of what Captain America right. is. Right. Politics come into play. Guys, we're yes. right up against our break right now. We're going to take it really quickly in a blip and be right back to talk all things more. Uh, Winter Soldier and uh, the Falcon. I fucked that up, guys. I was talking too much uh, as I'm into the conversation. So uh, let's take a look at some comments real quick. Few guys, you again, I know, it's, I know it's super late. I know. So. We apologize, man. Uh, it's my fault. But, you know. No, uh, no, no. It's no it's fault. It's just, you know, CM had important things to do today. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. And she's here with us now. 
exactly you to enjoy if you don't like that we're late well here it is and and he was getting vaccinated <laughs> too so he's yeah doing, and now he's it, doing it hurts his, a little bit now <laughs> he's doing his american duty there so. we go guys and i got a little bracelet too which is kind of cool but but yeah it, like again it just it doesn't it doesn't it just it, it feels like a little bruise if any of you yeah. have gotten it before it, it feels like a little bit i would, we're, say, we're I would really here. recommend that if you get home get ibuprofen takes my ibuprofen okay yes. i'm not probably and, gonna do that and do that all day tomorrow too Okay. Once okay. you start feeling it, drink ibuprofen. Okay. I got that from a doctor, a cancer doctor. That's oh, nice. That. So yeah. And again, we're just sitting here, like I'm not moving it around. I'm not working yeah. it. I'm not like I'm not Zemo dancing enough. You know what I mean? But yeah, so it just feels like it's tight. Like when you get a tight muscle, like that's what it feels like. But I'm not. I don't feel weird. It just feels like that. But uh, any comments, double A? Yeah. yeah. Steve says he's eating and drinking double A. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. And then Juan uh, says, yeah, but the priest said that with the gun pointed at him. Ah. And after that line, he asked the Lord for forgiveness. But, <laughs> yeah, it was a great <laughs> quote, quote, Juan says. So, thanks, Juan. <laughs> Juan is in the house. We appreciate you being here. Good brother, Juan, a.k.a. Uh, J. Dolas. Guys, if, if anyone that's still here, what did you guys think of the John Walker character? Obviously, he was, man, I was really surprised by all the hate he got. Yeah. Uh, seriously, yeah. I was surprised. And it went a little too far. As uh, it yeah. Goes. For for real death threats, for, for, you know, for the actual actor, Wyatt Russell, I was like, wow. This and, is, and the character is fucking old. He's an old character. That really did happen in the comics. Yeah. Like, calm down. And you know what's kind of funny, Double A, when all that was happening, I was like, he hadn't even done the shittiest things as John Walker yet that he does in the show. I don't even like, think they're shitty that much shitty honestly yeah, I was so, like, hey uh, what what he does you know uh we'll say we'll it, get that into moment, it but that moment is i'm like but again it's kind of like that. it's those fucking fans that you know i hate being that comic book dude but it's those fucking fans that really don't even know the comics that don't even know that john walker is a character from the 80s uh you know that come in and just you know, shit all over this. You know, again, it's comic books, guys. But you know, you know, you know what, Double A. <laughs> I, I don't even think I, I knew that there was like a U.S. agent, but I didn't know that his name was John Walker and all that. So, but for me, I was just like, we're watching a story unfold. Like, obviously, you need to dislike a character. Like, there's, I'm not gonna go send death threats to his family yeah, or whatever. Know. I'm like, I'm like, let the like, story seriously. unfold. You don't know that later but on no, he might. Don't, but don't even yeah. like send it to like the actor himself. Right. Like, God, right. Least. That's so fucking This guy stupid, is the son man. of Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. All that yeah. shit to me is is a is a, is a reaching for yeah. your own popularity, your own moment, which sadly they got because they got, it, yeah. it got out yeah. that those came out and then they got their moment. So. Yeah. But guys, uh, great comments. Thank you for joining the conversation. Thank you for hanging out extra late. Let's going to get right back into it. We'll so probably wrap we, it up we right can now. Hopefully wrap it up. Uh, you know, not that we hope that because we want to end the conversation. Time, oh, but, but it yeah, is raining but, like hell out there. Yeah, it's raining like hell. <laughs> and, and we want to give you guys a chance to uh, get wherever you're going. And then we also got to get where we're going so we can get this show out to everybody else listening in just the audio land. So guys, uh, let's get right back into it and wrap up things on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or as we call it, Truth made, made in, in America. America, guys. If you hung out during that blip, then you know that uh, it was just that just a blip. And you're listening on audio, you missed us uh, doing what we do on Facebook Live, which is read through all the comments that are coming in on our live feed as we go uh, Facebook Live every Friday night. So that way, you have the opportunity to join the conversation with us and talk about what we're talking about together. It's, it's fun, we like that. We like when you join in and you have comments, uh, and we can talk about the same things, but um. We are talking about tonight uh, Falcon the, and Winter Soldier. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now we're not really going too deep uh episode by episode. We're kind yeah. of talking more about the characters, and the development. In general, and we're yeah. we're glazing over a lot of really cool and really fun stuff. But that invites you guys go. If you've got Disney Plus, go check out the series, The it's Falcon and the Winter episodes. Soldier. Yeah, it's only six episodes. It feels like you're getting a, a Marvel movie just yeah. right there yeah. laid out. And now it's done, so it's better for you that we're talking about it now because you can watch the entire thing. Yeah. We, we went week by week, you know, yeah. being double A went week yeah. by week. Um, I would say this without one division, without the Mandalorian season one and two, this series is worth a Disney plus subscription. If you like spy stuff, espionage stuff, and especially if you're a fan of any of the previous Marvel movies that you may have seen captain America guys, it ties into end game. So. End game. Yeah. Now I will say this. If you get Disney plus based only on this show and what we're saying right here, the fucking winter soldier, you're going to get a treat with that. But Guess what? You do get WandaVision and The Mandalorian Season 1 and 2, which are out fucking standing. And we have episodes on all three of those and as well. And so much more. I mean, uh, I heard, too, by the end of the year or something like that, that they're going to start getting Sony movies, too. So Wow. That's Spider-Man's going to be joining the Disney Plus uh, 
you know, uh, stream stream. So that's gonna be awesome. You can't go wrong. The entire Star yeah. Wars library, the entire Marvel library, some of the great, uh, yeah, just about every X Men movie movies. that you ever loved. You know, yeah. and I'm not talking about the cartoon. Oh well, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. I'm not even talking about the cartoons. Like even like the Disney like live action movies. You know, mm -hmm. there's so many of them that I was like, oh wow, that was under. Like I saw Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, oh, with my nice. daughter. You know, so that was awesome. You know? Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And again, tonight we're talking about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but our episode is titled Truth Made, Made in America. America. And if you want to know why we call it that, well, it's after the very, very popular series, uh, who's one of the main Truth. characters. The main yeah. character is, in, is introduced uh, in this uh, Marvel series who we just got through seeing. We never thought we would see, see the light of day. And it's a very cool, dark, but very cool story about, you know, it, it really adds a lot of realism to mm -hmm. our superheroes where you're like hey this guy was a soldier hey mm -hmm. these things probably did happen within the government and the military but double a take us to our next uh uh talk yeah, so point. we're kind of like talking about john and uh kind of like you know he he is kind of messed up and you know he gets into it he's really trying to stop these flag smashers that's mm -hmm. that's what his mission is and you know he's you know he kind of runs into sam and buggy too much they they just do not like him. <laughs> right. Because they've yeah. pretty much given him the shield that Sam turned over, which was Steve's shield, which he didn't know was going to get turned over. He thought it's going up and it's in the Smithsonian. Next yeah. thing you know, they're parading out this new guy with the actual fucking shield, pretty much in Steve's costume, calling himself Captain America. It feels a little insulting. Like it feels a little bit like, eh, well, <laughs> That's because it got up, it got know? turned into something that it wasn't supposed to again right you know the captain america stopped being steve it now it becomes a symbol you know for whatever government's going to be coming in you exactly. know whatever purpose they're going to use you know uh we'll send captain america to africa we'll send captain america to europe we'll send captain america you know now you're just using it now as a symbol of america you as know? we were kind of saying earlier like that blunt instrument like yes you're exactly. our you're our weapon we point you and exactly aim you, and you do our you stop steve becoming what steve team. rogers made right it, you know and, and here's what steve did steve would question the ones pointing the gun and saying why are you well, not even it? questioning if he thought it was wrong he just wouldn't fucking do it exactly you know? if you tell steve oh go into iraq and beat up these people mm -hmm. or whatever and it's about oil he's gonna be like i'm not gonna no. do that no. he would defy his uh whatever you call it powers that be or mm -hmm. whatever you know what i mean whereas you know the the uh john walker uh version of the captain america we feel is very much the perfect soldier so he does not question authority and he just does what he's, he's like told yes without yeah. without questioning right or wrong yeah so like they're coming into a tough one him and lamar his partner lamar mm -hmm. uh and it Kind of boils down to this great scene with the Wakandans. Mm, oh my gosh, what a great, great, man, great fun scene! They man. just whip on John and Lamar bad. The Dora Milaje show up because at this time, Zemo Z Zemo is with uh, Sam and Bucky. And Zemo, if we all know our Marvel uh, Studios movie history lore, is pretty much an enemy of the state of Wakanda because he killed King T'Chaka in um uh, in the civil yeah. war mm -hmm. in yeah. civil war in yes. civil, or is it no it's civil, civil war because civil that's war. when it blows up everything just blows that's up right yeah. yeah so you know they're kind of like why the fuck is this guy out and just hanging out with y'all and they gave so bucky was like look give me like about i think he said like eight hours or something right. like that right and the time passes and so it's like okay. and he has the respect of the wakandans because he spent that time there remember when he was kind of recovering from being the yes. winter soldier yes which, which is a great, great show yeah great team yeah now double a are we at the point where we see that flashback yet? yeah yeah i should be already there, because i think so. that's when it, he's picking up those uh the, the cameras beads. yeah yeah so here you guys got this great scene now we flash back to bucky with the long you're kind of like you know when we're left with that scene in uh i think it is the is it the winter soldier i think it's like yeah he takes him at the winter yeah. soldier so Cap can hope that they can kind of uh, fix him up finally. Right, right. You know? And he's, you know, and pretty much, you know, we we hear the name Shuri's name. Yes. You know, uh, and we pretty much learned that they kind of stripped a lot of this out of out of Bucky, you know, making him less the Winter Soldier and more Bucky. Yeah. And what's neat is when Ao is literally repeating the words to him, the trigger words, whatever, and he's cheering up and like it's a fucking, yeah, it's it a is. really, yeah, I, it I was choked up. Y'all know I was choked. Up. It's a powerful <laughs> moment where I'm like, damn, whatever. And she tells him you don't have you're free she just says you're free now and he's like man like what does that mean you know like yeah i'm 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 not he's been an instrument for the united states he's been an instrument to you know hydra so 
for him being free finally yeah. it's like wow. imagine someone just says a word to you and once they say that word to you you have to do what they say whether it's you know hurt someone you love or or do something that you would never you know uh do on your own um uh, out of your free will it's like pretty awful well that's what you know uh, bucky barnes was subjected to for all this time as the winter yeah. soldier so for him it's a pretty poignant moment it is and, because uh you know not to go too deep into this but uh I was going through some stuff like about a few years ago and, you know, my brother texts me just out of the blue, you know, I love you. And, uh, I broke down, you know, because I just needed that. And I think when she tells him, you know, you're free. Yeah. It's just like, wow. Like I, I never thought I needed to hear that, but, uh, I needed to hear that, you know? So it's a great moment. Great scene. And you can tell why he just loves probably Wakanda a lot for sure. Know? For so sure. yeah, so you get this, and man, you know, John and Lamar are just so out of their league, oh, and yeah. that's that they're supposed to be the best of the best, and yeah. Whew, now, mind you, John man. is not a super soldier. John's a regular. No, he's guy, not. But just neither, like Sam. neither are them, <laughs> and neither are they. The Dora Milaje. Yeah, they, but they are not. Are elite fighters. We cannot say that enough. And so, it really shakes up John mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah, there's a great scene where a lot of people were memeing afterwards, too. They were like, uh, that's your Captain America right there. Because at one point, she, she throws a spear and he can't even, like, pull it out. Like, after the battle is done. Yeah. And she comes and fucking pulls it out. Boom. And then, like, the shield falls. And then she steps on it like Cap did, like Steve. And went woo. And it's just there's this great image of I was like, Ayo with the shield on her arm. <laughs> and it's like, holy shit. Like, and John kind of just looked at her like, Yeah, Fuck, I and, can't even do that. <laughs> and he and he he says it later on when he's like, he's pretty disgruntled about he being is, invested. Man. And his words are he's like, they weren't even super soldiers. Yeah, yeah. And it's like now you're like, oh, that's in his brain. Yes. Like, like he's like, I'll never be as good as Cap because. I, I Steve see Rogers cap because I'm not a super soldier. I don't have super soldier serum in my veins. Yeah, that's a good thought. And and yeah, it, to him, it's like it's like without that in my veins, I'm not the same, and I need to be the same as him. And but then like, after this one, it's kind of like holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't even super soldiers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and know, they, and he and got they, his uh, ass kicked. They they beat. They beat all their asses. Yeah, they, they, they beat everybody's ass there. Yeah. And Zemo was like, I'm out, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> he, he has his little escape pot that he goes through or whatever he does, you know. Uh, but, yeah, man, this kind of starts slowing, like, the kind of like the downturn for John a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, just kind of that hunger to be the best. Like, I'm not sure. Now I'm not as good. Which, can you yeah. say, is that, a, is that a bad thing? I know sometimes it can be a bad thing. Sometimes it can get in the way of a person, you, you, know, you know, but it's not it, bad. You it, just... in, in his situation, it's not bad because yeah. he's like, I'm representing America. I'm carrying this shield. I'm calling myself this name. This guy fought Thanos and saved the fucking universe. Yeah. How can I even be How remotely close? Yeah. Right. Like I've got now, now maybe what he should have thought was like, well, I can match it with my character, my integrity, my service record. But to him, it was like, no, I need to match it with speed and strength and power, which was granted to Steve by Super Soldier And now I want Super Soldier And the fact of the matter is that they know that it's out there because you've got these flag smashers running around. And he's like, well, well they thinking, got it. But well, we're thinking, though, like, okay, but Zemo killed the guy and then he smashed all the serums, right? right. We're like, okay, right. so there's nothing left anymore. Right. Unfortunately, right. unfortunately John finds one. <laughs> Yeah, and he puts it in his pocket. Yeah, you know, and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> and as a viewer, your mind is like, is he gonna take it? Is he? I even thought this. I was like, is he gonna split it with Lamar? I thought so too. You yeah, know, I was, I was like, uh, what's gonna happen or whatever. Well, I mean, he you know. takes it and it kind of twists him like the way you know they keep saying like Steve was a good guy that became great, where Red Skull was a bad man that became worse. Yeah, you know? and, and I won't even say that. John was a bad man. It amplifies the things about you. It amplified you. that post-traumatic, so, that inferiority. The self-doubt. Self there was definitely self-doubt yeah. in, in, in John because he wanted to be at Steve's level, and it bugged him that he wasn't. So that self-doubt, it was just a recipe for disaster by yes, injecting was. super soldier yeah. serum into them. So, um, again, we're not going episode by episode. Whatever. We're kind of just glazing over some high points or whatever, but, you know, it they do discover that oh, you took it, you know what I mean? And it's like, okay, now you're all jacked up. And, <laughs> yeah. 
you know, what are you going to do? But then they run into the other, the other flag smashers that are all kind of, which have a cool logo. Their logo was neat, right? Like the The mask with like a hand or something. Yeah. There's that, but I mean the, the Oh, the the, other one, the globe, the palm of the hand is a globe. And then it's like the rest is a hand, which looks pretty new or whatever. But yes, they encounter them. Sam tries to talk to Carly, the leader of the flag smashers. He says, but now it's John is like hopped up all on mm-hmm. the super soldier serum. So he's, and like, he's I'm not tired of waiting it. for him, you know, right. like, impulsiveness, which always leads to bad things or whatever. So they, you know, Carly, you know, distrust Sam now is like, Oh, is this what you really bought me in for? You right. know? And, uh, they get into a big fight. Uh, and then that's where we find out that, Hey, John did do it. <laughs> he did yeah. take it, you know. Yeah. And, but during that whole course of the battle, Lamar gets fatally injured, wounded, injured killed by, by Carly, not by uh, one of her minions. It's by her. But she runs away, and John chases this other guy who was around. Yeah. And man, John just goes off on this dude. You know, he kills him. And everyone. In a very dramatic fashion, where you're dramatic like, Holy fashion, fuck, that just in, happened? And in an open venue. Where With people filming on their phones, yeah. yeah, and he uses what to do it? The, the shield. shield. So it makes for a very dramatic end now in front look, of Sam and Bucky. You know? Honestly, yeah, he probably shouldn't have done it. But look, this guy's supposed to have been a terrorist, one of those flag smashers that they said to stop. Okay, you know what? You weren't responsible for Lamar's death, but you know, like directly, but you are responsible for his death. You you you, ro- you roll with that faction, you know what I mean. You roll yeah. with the people that we knew. Carly was getting more and more extreme. They show yeah. the faces every time that Carly says we're going to do something. You see their faces where they're like, "Holy shit!" You know they don't want to go along with it, but they are going along with it. You know, yeah. And, and the fact of the matter is, is that um, his good friend just got killed. His partner or whatever. You know like, what I mean, like, like if you're in a bad group, like that group became like terrorist group. Um, you know, it's like a Nazi soldier. You might not believe in what Hitler says, but hey, you know what? You're still following orders. You yeah. know, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, now is 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 death? Is he judged during executioner? No, no. He was in that moment. I. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. Like it's like you know. I don't. I don't blame John. I don't blame him either. Because if it was my friend, if it was you, and I was in that situation. When I caught the guy, I probably couldn't hold back either. It'd be yeah. like, all right, I mean, this is happening. But now, again, you know I mean? there was like even more yeah. hatred with John. You know, well, right, 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 right. When you know, uh, I saw other people kind of come to his defense. Some people come to his defense and say, "How is it any different?" Thank you. How is it any different than when you know Steve was defending Bucky? And, well, but and went at Tony, you know what I mean? You know, he went at him, but he didn't, he held back though. That's he the did, difference. and that's what people said. What's the difference yeah. is that where John executed, Steve did not, he held back. And I'm like, all right, well, again, you know what I mean? But he see, was, we never saw anyone know, like, like if someone like was trying to kill or killed Bucky, maybe Cap would have snapped. Who knows, right? Honestly, who knows, right? Um, you know, him and Tony, they're not like the comic book version where they're super close in the movies, it seems like. Yeah, they're cool with each other, but you know, it's like I don't have to like you. <laughs> I don't have to hang out yeah. with you. It's you very know? much that dynamic. Yeah. Almost like a sports team, right? Yeah. Like, like, we're not buds. You know yeah, I mean? so, so that's kind of weird because the whole thing in the comic books is that they're they are truly best friends. And when Civil War did come in the comics, it was a big deal. Yeah. Remember? It made it was it, a huge deal. It made it more uh, it was like, wow, really? You two best friends are really like going at it now, you know? Yeah, it made it kind of worse. Like you're like, ugh, you know, yeah. like, no, I can't I can't stand to see them two fighting. You know? so, so you know, John, you know, he goes up, but he clears himself by the end, you know. He he does yeah. the right things at the end, and you know, and uh, Sam and Bucky probably still don't trust him, probably still don't trust him with the the mantle of Captain America. Right. And maybe he even, th- maybe even he thinks so. Yeah. Because you know what? When he steps out as U.S. agent, he kind of seems to relish more of that role. Yeah. Now then it's kept, it was almost like a burden got lifted off when he got named U.S. agent instead. Yeah. Because that's like episode three or four that, that happens with the killing or whatever. And it's like, you see everyone filming it at the end. It's the last scene of that episode. Yeah. They strip him of the Captain yeah. America. And it's like, dude, they, Sam and Bucky don't have to do anything. It's like, at this point, it's like, you've, tainted the, the shield you've tainted the look you've tainted the name because and not only that but after know. the end of that episode where he take him away it kind of seems like oh shit he's gonna turn cycle which he doesn't do right. he actually restrains himself yeah you know 
And then we get the introduction of, uh, and again, now we're we're kind of we're we're like I said, we're bouncing. Well, over. we're doing John's uh, story, story though, right? You know? So what about you mentioned the U.S. agent, Double uh, A, the the character that calls him that the introduction. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of our favorites, Julia <laughs> Louise Dreyfus from Seinfeld, Elaine, and also uh, Selena. I forget her last name, but in Veep. Is it Selena's oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, which I watched a couple episodes of, which is really hilarious. I need, a, <laughs> I need to, I need to do a burn through on Veep or whatever because she's great. But um, yeah, so Julie Louis Dreyfus shows up as this character that we're like, who is this? I didn't know offhand. I didn't know then, either until everyone again started saying she yeah. was like Madame Hydra. Or something yeah, or something I feel like, like Marvel's deep in the bag, and they're just like, we're gonna like pull out this person. It is kind of weird. I, I really hope they have like a big plan for this because it, it just seems weird to. You. Yeah, be pulling like Agatha, you know, like Agatha, the random character yeah, like that, you know, yeah. like Madame Hydra, Madame now. Hydra, you know, it's kind of like, okay. But um, yeah, you see him with the new costume, which he says is it's the it's same, the same, but it's black. Like, and then I felt like her uh, statement was kind of uh, again too on the nose, where she's like, well, "We don't need a Captain America, we need a U.S. agent," yeah. and it's yeah. like, what? Like, and then I was like, okay, well. I guess if you think about it, like, so you know, now he can get his hands dirty now. Right. You know, we right. don't need a hero. We need a guy who, uh, we need a weapon. A we weapon. Need like, perfect we said, soldier. We, like we said, like we said, the one that doesn't question. You know and I mean? the U.S. Yeah. agent's perfect for you because now you have no more pedestal to be, you know, uh, you know, matched up with, you know, right. you, you don't have that Steve Rogers on your back anymore. You right. know, now you're a U.S. agent. So, now you can do your brand of justice, you know? So. Yes. So what did you think about, um, like, the kind of Sam and Bucky kind of uh, bonding episode? Uh, I liked, liked it. I thought it was really good. I loved it, too. Yeah, I, I thought it was really good. It showed them where they should have been. Honestly, they should have been the two guys in the whole Avengers that would trust each other yeah. the most, you know, yeah. because of that connection with Steve. You know, it was like a little low on action, but I like, no, I like, I like it. being I it was good in my, in my mind. Again, I'm like, if you watched all of these without intros and extras and it was, you watched it as one whole movie, it would have been a long movie, but it would have still been like, Oh, I'm uh-huh. very engaged, whatever. And this is that part of the movie, the buddy movie where they kind of, but uh, they needed it. He, Sam yeah. needed that moment for, to start believing in himself that he has, he can be yeah. his Captain America. Totally. You know, that, yeah, he's seen the reason why Steve chose me, you know. Uh, it was a good moment. It needed that moment because it, it really kind of washes out Isaiah's whole thing. Right. And Bucky right. kind of just sets him straight. You know, you're meant for this, you know. Yeah. And I thought it was very cool. They train and all that. And, and I have That to training admit, is great. Yeah, it yeah. was good. Yeah. Uh, I have to admit that when Isaiah's words were out there hanging out kind of like for us to digest, I was like, I mean, he's really not wrong. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, wrong, like, but you know, again, you know. But given the situation, like yeah. you said, like Sam knows Steve, you know, a lot of it is hindered on kind of the shield and what it represents. And I think maybe they're using it as like a metaphor for like maybe like the flag. Like they the are. Flag. They really like, are. You know, when you, when you Everything put that that's going on, on right now. Yes. Yes, sure. they are. Sure. So, um, Anyway, it's a really neat training uh, montage. It is. Video. I was like, I would I don't know if I would have been doing the shield thing. I would yeah. have been afraid that when it comes back, it's gonna take all my fucking take head. fucking head for sure. You know? And uh, you know, it's like it's kind of neat. You're seeing kind of uh, Sam get good with it or whatever. Which yeah, is really whatever. good. He starts getting his body into <clears throat> almost not not near perfect, but in a really great uh, physical condition where maybe he can start doing some of the stuff that Steve was able to right. do. You know, because right. Steve is supposed to be at peak human yes. perfection. Yes, and all Sam can do maybe is just try to get his body there to a level where he's able to move around like Steve, you know, and, and control the, the shield like Steve. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And it's yeah. cool. Cause it shows him like, he doesn't just know off the, off the bat or whatever. Earlier, he kind of has a couple of throws and it's like, it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. But, but then as it, when him and Bucky are talking, but then as it progresses, it's like, all right, I got to do this. And mm-hmm. it's cool. Cause he's doing like flips. Yeah. And like, yeah. You know I mean? Like that's an interesting, like weapon to choose. A lot of people will be like, why the fuck? That it's hard to use guys? it, but somehow, you know, with, when they put it in the hands of Captain America, it becomes a lethal weapon. So. Right. Right. Which yeah. is also part of kind of the mythos of him or whatever that makes him so, uh, you know, important or whatever. It's like, you know, only, you know, part of the series was who will wield, who will wield the yeah, shield. Yeah, in the comics, it was like Hawkeye you know? and Bucky were the only ones that can actually throw it like Cap. You yeah. Know? So, yeah. It was, Which it is was pretty, pretty cool. That's fucking pretty cool. It was pretty you know cool. I mean? so, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you get that great, 
montage video, which we know is going to set yeah, up. Yeah, which it starts coming to an uh, ahead finally. You yeah. see Carly starting to control the organizations more and more. She's getting more followers, and she's now in America. And, you know, now it's time. It's finally time now. And Steve, I mean, uh, John, Bucky, and Sam kind of form an uneasy alliance. Right. Or really that Sam and Bucky form an uneasy alliance with John yeah. against the Flag Smashers who are becoming more and more radical. Uh, Carly wants to kill a whole bunch of politicians this time. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, she's trying to get it back to, like, I think Torres says in an episode one where he's like, a world without borders. A world without they borders. They like that. They like that we were like, oh, we're like all one. Everybody was they, helping. You know? Right, right. Because we're in need cause, because of all this stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? But, you know, then once things got back to normal, like Double A said earlier, it's kind of like, ah, oh, you know, like, what's the need for that? Let's just get back all the Yeah, normal. yeah. But now Carly's kind of taking it to more extreme. Again, it's a super soldier serum kind of making you more of what you already are. Right. And I think even some of her followers are kind of questioning her a little bit. They like, are. Yeah. You can have the faces. They're not questioning her, but they have the faces like, man, this isn't what we signed up for. Right. You know, but she's already too far gone. Like Zemo said, mm -hmm. she's too far gone. She's mm -hmm. already convinced herself that she's going to die. And, yeah. you know, somebody else is going to pick up her place. Exactly. Take up her role. As he that. knows already when they've been, like, radicalized yeah. to that point or whatever. Yeah. Uh, which is neat about Zemo. Like, in the episode before last, before the last episode, he, uh, this is where we see him, like, they give him over to the Wakandans mm -hmm. and he's going to go away to the raft or whatever. Yeah. Uh, which is very neat uh, if you know comic books because uh, the raft has a lot of significance um, in the comic book world. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, no, it was... Um, and, you, you know, know, before that, too, you know, Bucky has a gift for Sam. We don't get to see it, but then we right. see it on this last episode. It's fucking amazing. It's actually uh, this uniform yeah, right here, but it looks great. I can't believe how great it looked on screen. It looked uh, great on screen, and it was almost completely comic book accurate. I was yeah, like, oh, it was. it's like a, like a ripped it right the out of there. Wings looked amazing, you know, and the way he used them, the way he used the yeah. wings and the shield, was fucking amazing. I it made that part. it cool. I was like, oh, why you made that yeah, cool? I love the part where he's in the street and he brings the wings over him and he has a shield on top. It's yes. like a complete piece of armor yeah. of Wakanda Meadow yeah. right there. You that know? is very cool. Like, that's a great, great moment. Yeah. And that's a great moment to, br to bring up. Uh, I, it's just like, I was like, all right. Like, yeah. He did. He, looked, well, he, he, he said he, it to you. He's like, I'm Captain America. Like, yes. All right. Yeah. No you government. See them, you told see them, them really working well. All of them, Bucky's like, "I'll be down here. You be in the air." You know, and John's there too, lending support. Man, he's there too, fighting with them. Yeah, he kind of he's like he wants to be on board. So yeah, it works out pretty good or whatever. But yeah, man, just that moment when he's like, "No, I'm Captain America." It's like there's no like government appointment, no, no meeting, no not even hesitation no, of him saying that. Yeah, you it's know, just like I've got to do this now. Yeah, which is cool because it's kind of like well. Sam, you're finally where you're where we needed you to be yeah. at the beginning of the damn series. Not that we didn't want the series, we did. And the series is great. And I mean, like, especially great. But uh, I mean, you know, it's like from the yeah. beginning, you know, you we know that he's worthy. Yeah. And Steve knew that he was worthy. Yeah. That's why he was chosen. So um no, no, man. Great shit. <clears throat> great shit. Uh what do you think? Double A, anything else? I mean, like, we're pretty yeah, near just, our next uh, block. You know, it was a good show. The speech was really good to the one he gives. Powerful, powerful speech. Very poignant, very timely. Yeah. Uh, um, make this one of the things that you really pay attention to when you do watch it. The the Isaiah ending, you know, Love how that. they got you at that part in the Captain America that Museum. Is, you know, that uh, was awesome. That was something that didn't happen in truth. Yeah, <clears throat> so that was I, really cool. I will say this: they kind of addressed this on the uh, Kevin Smith podcast, or whatever, where they said, "Man, what a great scene would it be if he eventually takes him back to the museum and shows." Not that they predicted it, because I think that it was kind of like a little bit obvious where it was going or whatever. You could, if you piece together scenes you saw in in trailers, you know, you know, oh, okay, it it's yeah. like they're back there again, yeah. uh, you know. So, um, but um, no, it was still powerful, still a great scene. I loved it. Sharing the big yeah. reveal. Yeah, you know, that she was the she's the power broker, and now she got her part in. She's back in Shield now, and she plans to abuse that power. Yeah, and kind of bring America to its knees. Now, kind of, I was like, ooh, okay, so this is kind of like her payback. Like you fucked me over, right? So now I'm she's getting hurt her. by it. She's hurt by it. So she's Sharon ends up becoming the big bad here. Isaiah got his redeeming stuff. You know, Sam is fully embracing the Captain America. Bucky is good. Yeah. He's, he's healed. Good. He's finally yeah. getting over that. He's good. Zemo's on the raft. 
John, I don't know, uh, because now it's kind of like Hydra is kind of with him without him knowing, you know, if she is part of Hydra. Right. You know, right. Uh, so it makes you wonder, too, like, is he freelance now or is he not? How is this working? Know? Who is Julia Louis Dreyfus really right. in this government? Is he's, she someone? He's obviously not part of uh, the military anymore. No. He's pretty much no. been told, like, you're retired now. You so know? I thought it was a really good six part series it really fleshed out those characters that we would never get a chance to be able to flesh out yeah in those big movies so i thought it was Even, a good movie yeah uh, good um, <laughs> movie good series you know and man it just uh it was awesome i enjoyed it, every bit of it you know yeah i i 100 agree with you i loved it i highly recommend to go yeah. watch the falcon and the winter soldier if you haven't seen it if you have watch it again we glazed over mm -hmm. a lot of really cool shit. The Dora Milaje doing yeah. the thing, yeah. detaching Bucky's yeah. arm. We were like, whoa, uh, shit. You know, you know? Like, uh, there's just neat stuff in there that we would obviously can't get all to. And again, to me, it feels like this. It feels like, hey, you've been missing Marvel movies. Here is a Marvel yeah. movie. It's just presented in a different way, yeah. a different format. And uh, I could see myself going back to watch it. Yeah, I can't I mean, too. You know, there's yeah. not a way for me to like, own a physical copy yet but it's like i'm, I'm happy to have them if they ever box. release wandavision or this on dvd i'm i'm buying it i am there too 100%. even if it, even if i am paying for disney plus i'm yeah I'm still gonna buy it so. yeah because they are that great yeah. so um overall i mean like i loved it two big thumbs up for me yeah. man go watch the falcon yeah. and the winter soldier for sure yeah um double any other final thoughts no, guys, just uh, be careful out there. You know, this weekend it's going to be raining if you're in the Texas area. And just be careful in general. Uh, we got a lot of stupid people out there doing a lot of stupid shit out there. So uh, All the time. Just yeah. watch it, man. Just watch it, guys. Uh, be kind to each other. Yeah, yeah. great, great, um, great finishing notes there. I love that. Be kind to each other. Uh, guys, uh, well, there, besides that, and for me, I agree 100% with that. There's a little thing we like to say before we get going on every episode of Just mm -hmm. Another Friday. Well, we try. Sometimes I do forget. Uh, <laughs> but that is, guys, if there's something that you want to do, a hope, a dream, something that you aspire to do or live we up live to. We live by Steve Rogers' words. We live yeah. by the words of Steve Rogers. Uh, you know what I mean? But, but before you do what Steve does, you have to seize, seize the, day, the day, take advantage of every opportunity, yep. make it happen. Today's the day to do it. You know, our great friend and fan, Joe, uh, was not a podcaster. Yep. When he started listening to our podcast. He listened to many podcasts. Yep. And then he met our friend, Lucky, whose show we were on. And then they threw our show, I think, and they started to do their own podcast now. And he now is was once a fan and now is a, a alumni is a podcaster himself so uh guys he sees the day and it's not going to always be easy sometimes you have different schedules sometimes you know you can't always meet up sometimes there's a funeral sometimes you know all these things but you got to do whatever it takes to make it happen you know what i mean and, that's and i what, did that when i got john uh, yeah on the show exactly tonight. exactly <laughs> who knew who knew i didn't know i mean i just passed the u.s agent in the hallway and i was like man it was insane you're like but, what a dick uh what a dick. yeah you know what I mean? you're no you're, you're no sam that's for sure uh but guys for myself cm chuck and double a it has been just another friday night guys uh always a pleasure to be here with you remember next week invincible Invincible next week. I so can't catch wait. up. Catch up with us. I'm okay. gonna rewatch, guys, and I got something cool to show you guys Ooh. too. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, we love you, and as Good always, night. stay safe. Good night. <laughs>